All right, we're being Chelsea this season. Arsenal season was a success, 8 0. Surprisingly, they suck. Um, I haven't really looked at Chelsea's team, but they probably suck too. Let's do 1, 2, 3, 1. Felix. They got Conte. Enzo's not bad. I'm going to use Haberts. 82-81. Please have it. Mudrick. Nice. Kukurella. They got so many damn players. Abumiang. Ooh, they got Zacharia. He's good. Pulisic. I forgot they got like 70 players on their team for some reason. Right, cool Valley, Silva, Bruce James, Chilwell. Not bad. They just got a lot of options. They don't really have amazing players though. They're super defensive with Zachary and Conte. Madeki or Pulisic or even no Kovacic let's try Pulisic hmm Let's just try it if it should still win. What's up, Messi? Welcome back. Being um, Chelsea today, setting it up. They're they're right. I haven't, I don't know. They have a lot of players. Jesse went ham on the transfer market last season. It's crazy. No one really picks them online. I don't think I've ever ran into them. So let's see how they do. Kings Road and Fulham Road meet Stamford Bridge. I'm Derek Ray, and with me here I should start Mason Mount just because he went to United. And with the new campaign just I probably will next game. Let's start him. The excitement here is palpable. It's Chelsea ah, he's against Bayern Munich. Well, Derek, they were outstanding champions last season and a favourites again this time around. But I think this will be tougher. It's always hard to retain your title. Serge Gnabry. Mane. Mane. No oh, sir, good job. Oh no! But brilliant defending. Determined block. Will he find the net? There it is. A two one? No, oh, he already got one. Hopefully I'm the two and he's the one. Damn it. It's first game of the day. First game of the day. That was just a bit chaotic. The ball was just bouncing everywhere. On to James. I like Chris James though, he's good. 
Zakaria. Conte. Oh, that's a really good run. Could be. Oh, Conte. It's probably a little bit too defensive of a team, you know. Hey, that's a foul. And I think the threat has been averted. I do have a real defensive setup, but I should be able to control the ball like Everybody. this. Now Chelsea in a position of menace, but the danger averted for now. I like Conte. Sterling. Koulibaly. Joao Felix. Why is Felix dropping like that? Felix. Yes, sir. A goal for Chelsea who've got themselves on level terms. Conte. It's a bit defensive because I got Con I got two basically defensive midfielders instead of one. But I should be able to press from the front like that. Ooh, almost. You know what I mean? Get the win the ball back quickly. That was clean. That was clean. That was all ball, ref. Blind bastard. Yeah, that was a nice goal. Oh, crap. Chilwell. Nice ball. Hey, you know what? I think they messed up my. I think they messed up my lineup. Why is Havertz? I think they did. Let me double check. They did. They do this when after I'm done setting up my lineup, they just like randomize it. It's weird. All right, yeah, like that. Havertz was at right wing for some reason. Felix was in Cam. I knew something was off. All right, I fixed it. Well, as you can see from the replay, it's the perfect through ball from Havertz. And what a clinical finish this is. Hit with such power by Sterling. Not much chance for the keeper there. It's a great goal. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, no. Now then, what's the referee going to do here? And the referee has shown in the red card. I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, they were in complete control of this game. What am I doing? Really well. Oh, there goes um Goretzka has a go. Well, the keeper has There goes one of my players. The corner from Kimmich. I'll just the kind of save every goalkeeper would expect to make. Still going to win, but Damn, I've been getting, I, I never get red cards and all of a sudden I'm getting red cards. I think I got one yesterday too. It's a foul. It's a foul. Uh, I gotta bring someone else in the midfield. You go chill well. Oh my god, bad pass. And he saw the situation developing. Go Sterling. Ah, oh, he got me. So nearing the break, Chelsea hold the edge. Stuart, how about your assessment of what you've seen from them in the first 45? Yeah, it's certainly been an open game. And still danger here. That was an amazing save. Davies. Uh, it's my first game with them, and they're better. I think they're better than Arsenal. I got a red card already, so yeah, that was kind of bad. 
Nusser Mazraoui. Gnabry. This looks promising. Just the challenge that was required. And Bayern moving the ball with purpose. A fine reading of the situation. Mane. Now Kimmy. Surely the equaliser. Yeah. And the keeper. Yeah, so I'm going to have to move everyone down. And probably have to take Havertz out. Or, I don't know, take someone out eventually. Got baby Conte. He scored a goal and got a red card. Damn. Flings himself up the ball. <clears throat> Who's going to get on the end of it? Pretty comfortable piece. But I like using this team better than Arsenal. But I went undefeated with Arsenal yesterday. Ooh, that's well they can bring us out now not good well they were so close to the equalizer there they're certainly a bit unlucky but they need to make more of these chances Kimi on to Zane Goretzka oh my god no dude to cut off the supply superb block And we will have just one additional Adam. minute. And he's made headway. Oh, it's mischievous. Get in. Oh, yes, sir. Savor it. Pure brilliance. Little Sterling right before half. That's huge. Especially with the red card. Damn, so I'm gonna probably gotta take somebody out. I'll probably take out Pulisic, play a little bit slower, but bring in Kovacic probably? No, Fernandez. Smart. Have to hold on to a two goal lead. He's going to be playing in the first frantically. Will we see a similar pattern in the second 45? And Sterling has it. Could be. Come on. Come on, Felix. Sterling. Take it away. Ah. That's why I get red cards. Don't do that. Give me that. Yeah, he's in like a nice hardcore press now. Ice. 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 Sterling. Ice. Why would I press you? See how you like it. Great pressure to win the ball back. <laughs> Come on. Oh, my defense is too freaking good. As the stats confirm, Chelsea have controlled the ball and they've made good use of it. They really have played some good attacking football and they look like scoring more. Well, let's see if they can win the ball back and create something else. Yes. Zane in the middle. Not all that convincing defensively. Yeah, I like Chelsea better than and Arsenal. Calm on the ball. I don't like Arsenal at all. Havertz. Hanging on to the ball in this fashion suits them. Send them. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Can they keep it going? Oh, come on! Oh, they play at they play at um. They play like in two hours, two and a half hours. That's why I'm playing right now. Usually I'd play later. 
but they play in like two hours, so I'm gonna All do right. the I'm gonna do the Chelsea season and go watch them play. Oh, and what am I doing? Uh oh. And a good take under yeah, I'm actually excited to watch that because they're gonna be both teams will play probably for their full strength team, so it should be a good game. That's two biggest clubs in the world. Man U and that's clean ref. Man U and Madrid. Two biggest teams in the world. Stop pressing me, my guy. Not gonna come back. His guys are gonna lose all their stam, all the pressing they're doing. Ooh, crap. Crap, 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 crap. That would have been bad. Well, he needed to score there. That may just have given them some hope. What do you mean, my TV are alive? I don't, I don't know what you're asking. Good use of advantage by the referee in Bayern's. Yo, Messi, where are you from? Are you from the the U.S. or what? Is that like where are you at? And where are you from? Into the final nice ball. I gotta score this. Put the game away. Ooh, pull. Ah, choked. That would have been the game. Sure. Well, what a magnificent save that was. It really was top class goalkeeping. Greece. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can kind of tell. I think FIFA's just worldwide, huh? Everyone, yeah, people from everywhere. Like I see in my analytics, uh, that shows like what country people are from. Only like 30% are from the U.S. Is what that's where I'm from. 30% of the views are from the U.S. That's cool. I live in Texas, and that's where Real Madrid and Man U are going to play today in Texas. They're actually going to play about three hours away from where I live. Uh. Tiago. GG's. See, even going down a man Ten minutes to go. that fast, really so dominated. Oh, shoot. Not yet. Not Spoke too soon. It's not over. God damn it. Yeah. Yeah, U.S. is pretty cool. The greatest country in the world, you know? Not to brag or anything. Ah, bad pass. Great pressure to win the ball back. Game. Oh, what a save! There you go, Enzo. I just have to hold on. It's with Cody Bali. Tiago Silva. Cody Bali. Chilwell. GG's, boys. GG's. And we will have just one additional minute. What are you going to the U.S. for? GG's, boys. Want to know what Chelsea? Three points in the bag on opening day, and so many positives to derive from the performance. Well, the first game can always be tricky, but I thought they looked a good team today. It was a really nice. Damn, markers, beautiful. One ten, five and three. Actually, I wanted to change something. Uh, well, they f left this all up, first of all.
I wanted to put mount in. Yeah, fun. Nice, nice. Uh, I want to use mount, but it doesn't really make sense. We'll use them. That's it. It's good work rate. I use Cucarella. I use Cucarella instead. Oh, how old are you turning? Happy birthday. Mason Mount. Let's go. See him in action in about two hours. Against this team that I'm about to play. A really exciting night ahead of us here at the Santiago Bernabeu in Madrid. I'm Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry, and alongside me at the microphone is Stuart Robson. And with kickoff just moments away, we really should be in for a magnificent occasion. It's Real he's Madrid not moving. Let's score real quick. Chelsea. Damn it, he's moving. Start to the season, wasn't it, Derek? They'll be looking to repeat that today. Uh. If they can make it six from six, they'll start to believe they have a chance at the title. Let's hope we get a good game here. Just cutting off the supply. Oh, damn it. And let's dissect the Real Madrid side. Thibaut Courtois is the keeper of choice. I wanted to put Cucurella in just because of his hair. Get some hair for that one, you know? Oh, crap. Well, no damage done. Well, Real are on the front foot here, and they're very unfortunate not to be leading after that effort. Well, they're on the ball, and they've just got to forget about that moment of misfortune. And snuffing out the danger. Twenty? Nice. Guess how old I am. Let's see if you can guess. It's with Cody Bali. Mendy. And what part of the, what a part of the US are you going to? Oh wow, what a bad pass. Such a high level in an attacking sense for so long. Stuart, what do you anticipate seeing from him here? I would describe him as majestic when he's playing at his best. He glides past defenders. He's got that ability to run oh, sir. The ball into open space. He can pick out a pass. He can wriggle out of tight situations. He's the most creative player on the field today. Well, possibility ah, that center. pass. That's why I get red cards. Oh, my God. The D. I'll probably get a yellow for that. Oh, okay. Oh, crap. Yeah, I'm 30. Well, he'll certainly be pleased to see the flag go up there because that was a poor miss. Though, when people go to America, they usually go to, well, like, New York, Los Angeles, like the big cities, pretty much. I would assume that's where a tourist would go. Chelsea move still flowing. Advantage right, like if someone goes to Greece, they would go to the big cities. Sterling. Bad pass. This guy's good. Asensio. Crossing opportunity. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. Sound piece of goalkeeping. D. This guy's pretty good. And Sterling has it. 
Kukureya. Kukureya. Now Chelsea in a position of menace. Can he put them in front? Can they cover up? Damn, Havertz. Tony Kors. So yeah, I knew I should use Felix. Felix would have made that. I don't know if Felix could, but. And intercepts again. And go to Conte. James. Ah, shite. Keep the opposition at bay. Vinicius Junior. Good ball movement. And considerable space afforded Real Madrid. Fine tackle there to prevent the chance. I like Havertz because he's 6'3. Oh, yeah. Well, very effective play in possession. It opens up for Havertz. Havertz. You watched the one with Madrid? Yeah. They're, Madrid was is probably the best team, in my opinion, on the game. Um, like if I was like going like try hard, and like I would just pick one team only to win games, I'd pick Madrid. Oof. But I'm not playing. I'm not doing this to, for just try to win hella games. I'm just trying to pick a bunch of different teams. Teams I would never normally pick, like Chelsea, Chelsea, Arsenal. Um, get that guy out of the chat. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Like Chelsea, Arsenal. I picked Inter. You can be a fan and say the Raiders freaking suck. You said that you talk crap about a quarterback for like the past ten years. What are you talking about? You can be a fan and freaking think our coat sucks, which uh, he does. He's chicken cheeks. Just like I was a Trojans fan, I knew that with the last coach we had, we were never gonna win anything. We weren't. Now we have a new coach, and we're gonna now we're freaking OP again. This is Josh McDaniels just cheeks. I just have no faith in him. We talk trash about Jimmy Garoppolo every single year. He's with the Niners, and all of a sudden, you think we think we're gonna be good when he's on the Raiders? We know he's a trash quarterback. It's not. It's not. Nothing's gonna change. I think we downgraded a quarterback. I think we have a trash coach, and we're just. It's not looking good. Hopefully, I. Hopefully, I'm wrong. Obviously, because I'm a Raider fan, but it's. I wouldn't. I wouldn't bet on it. That's all I'm saying. I wouldn't bet on us being good at all. Yeah, Madrid. I only. Yeah, I would only pick them too. I did Division 10 to Division 1 with only United. And then I won a uh, Division 1 title with United. Then I started picking other teams. You're a Niner fan then by that logic because you hate on the Raiders for the past like 10 seasons with Carter quarterback. You said he would suck. I was the only one saying, oh, I think we can win with him. You talk crap about him even that the year we went to the playoffs with him and we lost to the Bengals. You said he sucked the whole year when I was like he drag us, drug, drug us to the playoffs. But it's all it's okay. You th so you think we're gonna win a Super Bowl? That's what you think? Because I don't think we are, and I don't think we're gonna be good. But hopefully I'm wrong. That was all ball, ref. You blind bastard. Oh, clearly you weren't right. So you think Josh McDaniel is the coach, a good coach, and he's going to lead us to what? You think we're making the playoffs this year? Because if you say no, you, then you agree with me. You just think we're going to be slightly less crappy. I mean, slight. I think we're going to be slightly less cra crappy than you. That's the only difference in opinion. If you don't think we're going to win the Super Bowl, then you agree with me. You just think we're going to be a little bit better than what I think we're going to be. I think we're going to suck. I think we're gonna. I think we're going to win, like I said, five to seven games. Now, if you don't think we're gonna win the Super Bowl, you just you just have a slightly different opinion than me. You just think we're I just think we're gonna be slightly crappier than you think. So then you're not a real Raider fan. If you if you're just saying that I'm not a Raider fan because I don't think we're gonna be good, you're not a Raider fan if you don't if you can't say that we're gonna win the Super Bowl basically by that logic. By that logic, then that's what you're saying. I'm not a Raider fan because I think we're not gonna be good. 
And if you don't think we're going to win the Super Bowl, then you're not a Raider fan either. That, that's all that. Ten wins. So you don't think we're going to win the Super Bowl either. I don't I don't think. I hope you're right. I hope you do ten wins. I see us optimistically seven, like I said, in the range of five to seven. Optimistically, hope like high amount. My high amount would be seven. So you're three games off of me. And that's I'm assuming that's your high amount. So then you're saying you're not a Raider fan then. I just think we'll probably optimistically win three less games than what you're predicting. Because I'm, I'm predicting a high of seven. Yeah, that is true. Anything can happen. We made the playoffs um, two years ago. Who was, and anything could, we, almost, we almost beat the team that went to the Super Bowl. So... We we decided to blow up that team and get Josh McDaniels as a head coach, and I gave him the opportunity. I said, hopefully he can do good, but he proved us wrong, and he sucked. Josh McDaniels is cheeks, and he, it's evidence in his career. He's done nothing in his whole career, so I don't know what makes you think he would win ten games when he's probably never won ten games in his career. So, hopefully you're right though, because as a Raider fan, I would obviously want us to win, but I just don't see it. I don't see that. I don't think that's an upgrade at quarterback. The defense, we didn't get much, but we don't have any linebackers. The D line's probably going to suck besides Crosby again. No defense tackles. We'll see what happens. Crap, now I need to look at the. Pulisic now. Zakaria. And the challenge halts them in their tracks. Benzema. Here's Cross. Well, that is how to nullify the opposition. Goalkeeper's ball every day of the week. Spillane, really? No, we're just talking about fo uh, American football because I like. American football and then soccer. Or, holy crap. Oh my god. Deep. Gotta bring on Felix. And Maduki. Or Enzo. No, Maduki. He's fast. Yeah, we, we're just talking American football. Because the American football season is about to start, too. I think it starts, like, late August. Maybe, like, 20 days. I don't know. I lost a little bit of focus talking about it, but it's all right. It's fine. Still 20 minutes left in the game. Hey, I thought I did a sub. Oh. They didn't take my subs in. Hey, I'm passing the ball. Give me that. Chuamini. Crossing possibilities. There you go, Conte. Damn. Oh my God, Sterling. Oh. Yeah, I watch, literally watch every single game. Diablo is all right, but he's never stayed healthy in any any year, and he's only in what his second year, third year now. If you think our defense ain't gonna be bottom like it usually is. I don't see. I don't see us. We didn't make much improvement on the defense, which we never do. We never get any defensive players. Go to that. I don't. I don't know. Hopefully you're right. Hopefully I'm wrong. It's usually me that's the one saying, "Yeah, I think we're gonna do good." And you're like, "No, we're not. We suck." This year I don't. This is the first year in a long time where I'm not confident in the Raiders. Options of 
Oh crap. Oh, how is that not a foul? My god. Oh my god. He's trying to create something. Kamavinga. The cross is on. Mendy. Timely intervention. Oh my god, dude, come on. And got Conte. This is it. What can Chelsea do from this position? Let's go! At this stage of the game, it might be decisive. And just look at their supporters. <sighs> All right, I hope you're right. We lost our main offensive player, our running back. So I don't know how. I don't know, we don't have a quarterback that can throw past ten yards. I mean, we said that. Went to Jesse every year for about five years, so I don't know. We'll see. Enzo or Kovacic? Enzo. That was a clutch goal, though. Well, here's the replay. What shall we go to no fly zone because we got Marcus Peters. He got five million. Marcus Peters got five million. A one-year, five million dollar contract. Maybe any elite corner that's on such a low contract. He basically got the better at minimum. Come on now, you guys are overhyping him. Good pickup. I still said good signing just because we need. We had. We don't have much competition at corner. We don't have any corners. So good signing, but let's not pretend like. Bye bye. I win. Ow. How am I a Saints fan? Because I think that we're going to suck this year. You say the same thing every year, so then you this is your first year as a Raider fan. So welcome to the to the Raiders. Is this your first year as a Raider fan? This is my first year not a Raider fan, I guess. Because damn near the past, what, like five years, you say we're going to suck. So you're first year Raider fan. I'm a first year non-Raider fan, I guess. It's just being realistic. On who? Marcus Peters? The 30-year-old cornerback that we signed for one year, $5 million? Good signing, like I said. But let's not pretend like we just got an all-pro corner and we have a no-fly zone now. It's ridiculous. Who's going to start opposite of Marcus Peters then? So when, yeah, I am a Carr fan. Carr was on the Raiders for nine, nine seasons, and every season you said that he sucks. So then you're not a Raider fan because he was the Raiders' starting quarterback for nine years. So then you're not a, a real Raider fan then, by that logic. Because every year I thought we had a chance to make the playoffs, and like you said, anything can happen with the playoffs with Clark at quarterback. But we don't have Clark at quarterback. We have Garoppolo. I don't think Garoppolo is better than Carr. I don't think Josh McDaniels is a capable head coach either. So with those two combinations, I don't see how we're going to do good. I mean, hopefully I'm wrong, and Josh McDaniels all of a sudden has a career year where he doesn't just do what he's done every year he's been a head coach but i just not going to hold my breath I don't expect it to happen and why you expect it to happen I'm not sure but I hope you're right I hope you're right and I'm wrong that's all I'm saying I hope you're right and I'm wrong Ooh. What do you mean after he broke his leg he, he's been scared? He drug us to the damn playoffs two years ago. What are you talking about? He he, he always Travella. That was amazing. He drug us to the playoffs two years ago. What the hell? 
He's always he always is in the top of the league and deep balls thrown. How is he scared? You have to stand in the pocket and throw deep balls. I'm not gonna ask him. He doesn't even know anything about football. I remember when I moved here to Texas. He came over to watch a game, and he was asking like, I don't know if he was trolling. I doubt it. But he was asking like simple stuff like, oh, so they got three downs and then they got to punt it, or something silly like that. So yeah, it, it, he. I think he started watching football because we moved over here. He probably knows now, but I remember him asking something silly like that. See, then you admit you never liked Carr. Then you weren't a real Raider fan. Then you can't be a fan of a team and you don't like the quarterback. The quarterback's the leader of the team. Look at Mason. Mm, let's go, beautiful ball. They, that's just backup quarterback syndrome. Every quarterback sucks. So the next guy is going to be better. Carr sucks. The next Garoppolo is going to be better than Carr. And then when Garoppolo sucks, it's going to be like, Garoppolo sucks. The next guy is going to be way better. Trust me, this next guy is going to be better. It's always the person next that's the, that can do the job better. And it's never usually the case. Garoppolo is not better than... he. Garoppolo wasn't better uh, with the Niners than, than Carr was with the Raiders. So I don't see how... Hopefully he is. Hopefully he can prove me wrong. He has all the weapons to be good. We we don't have a running back, but we have Devontae Adams. Devontae Adams is good. You might want to get rid of that car jersey because the car sucked the whole every time he was on the Raiders. You said you're saying Carr only had one good season. That's the season he broke his leg. Makes him out. Playoff record is not a quarterback record. Niners are winning in spite of Garoppolo being at quarterback. Not because Garoppolo was at quarterback. They were winning because they had defense and they could run the ball on everybody. You're smart enough to, sit to know that. I mean, we, we told Jesse that every freaking year. We said... If you had a decent quarterback, you'd probably have a couple Super Bowls by now. But it's all good. Hopefully I'm wrong and you're right. That'd be the best case scenario for both of us. Me being wrong would be best case. And I hope I am wrong. It's just if I was a betting man, I would bet I would I wouldn't expect the Raiders to be doing good. You are a betting man, so you can put your money where your mouth is. You think the Raiders are going to win 10 games? I did look at the schedule, too, though. The, the schedule isn't that tough. But I just don't think we're that good of a team. So The schedule didn't look that tough when we were playing trash teams and getting clapped last year, either. When we were freaking losing to the Colts when they had an interim head coach. When we were getting smacked by the Saints with no quarterback. We were losing to trash teams last year. So I can't really say the schedule doesn't look good. I mean, hard, because... We're not a good team. And you never know. Every year, the teams, some teams are good and some teams aren't. Uh, and if I can go undefeated with Chelsea while talking about football, being distracted, only playing at 75% capability of uh, mental capacity, that'd be pretty good. Yes, they've defended really well all over the pitch. Their work rate and discipline has been excellent. But any drop in tempo and this lead could easily slip away. I don't think a winning season is the quarterback stat, though. I think winning season is a team stat. Like, we're just going to pretend like we don't have a bottom, well, like 28 deep. Hit. A bottom, what, from like 28 to 32 every single year? We're just going to pretend like that's not a thing that we have? It's literally half of the half of the game. The defense is half of the game. When you're asking, like, look at car stats. And rank them amongst other passers and compare them like that. We don't compare team records because team wins isn't a quarterback stat. And people get confused. Because by that logic, then Garoppolo is a damn near top five quarterback then. Because the Niners were always going deep in the playoffs. Oh, GG, so I won. He didn't want no more.
Yeah, that's coaching. Carr didn't just Carr wasn't just the player that he is in the first half, and then just forget how to play quarterback. That's based off of I think that's based off of play. Co- I think that's coaching. I don't know. Some people think that's on the players when we dropped what like seven second half leads or something like that. I think that's on the coaching. But we'll see. We got the same coaching staff. We'll see if it was on the coaching or if it was on the players. All right, well, we'll see. I mean, Carr has if, – if Carr does good in New Orleans, then I guess he wasn't the problem, right? And if the Raiders make the playoffs without Carr his first season out, then then, then Carr was the problem. It's just simple. Like, we can sit here and debate about it all day. But it's only going to be determined based on what we do this season. If Carr makes the playoffs with the Saints, then then Carr wasn't the problem, right? So we'll see. Can argue about it all day, but it's just going to come down to if we can win the games. Hopefully we can, but I don't think our defense is going to be good. The hell? He walked the ball at once? And here's how it looks Duh. for Chelsea. Edouard Mendy stands between the posts. Kylian Mbappe. Oh, shoot. He's just going to try to run past me. Loser. Give me that. Boy. I like that slide. I remember when Sterling was fast. And return to Sterling. Oh. Damn it. And with that, can they force oh, ahead? bounce right team. Let's go. And you've got to say they're good value for the lead. Yeah, but we don't have Jacobs. Yeah, Sam's coming in here calling me a fake Raiders fan just because well, my optimistic level is seven wins and his is ten. So we're just three games off. But if I'm not, if I don't think we're going to win more games than him, that's like if I'm like, we're going to go 12 12 and 5 and he's like no nah, I think we're going to go 10 and 7 and I'm like no you're you're not a Raider fan. You're not a Raider fan. You don't think we're going to we're going to win more games? Damn it. He's distracting me. He's trying to make me not win the title. I'm still going to win. I don't need 100% focus to beat this guy. I'm going to do it with 75%. Are you going to watch the Madrid United game on ESPN? It's at 7:30. See Rashford and Vinicius. You're gonna see um. Dude, Havers has no dribbling. Jesus Christ! It's like moving with a Harry Maguire. Ah! <laughs> this guy just wants to run past me, with Mbappe. Oh my God, it's a foul. Thank you. I hope he's right, though. Like, I can just say that. I hope he's right and I'm wrong. I'm not sure that. I'm not going to make it. Mason Mount's going to be playing tonight. What are you talking about? It's the two biggest clubs in the world. Going head-to-head -head in preseason. Obviously, if it was Champions League, it'd be nice, but. Options in the middle. Ooh. Oh my God! How'd you miss that? Well, nothing comes of it. Oh my God! Get there. Marco Verratti. Now with Akimi. Lionel Messi. Bro. Oh my god, dude. 
Freaking... Hey, it's red! That's red! Get the fuck out of here, Killian. You dirty bastard. Is he gonna quit? I wonder if I get the win if he quits, because it's 1 1. No, on Ultimate Team, you won't get the win. Just a moment of madness, which is a great Damn, I can't believe he just freaking tried to assault and press charges after the game. Try to break my legs. Ooh, almost. Away. Oh, come on, Mason. Well, what can they do to stop him running at them? You're not getting past me. You're not getting past me, bud. A meaty but fair challenge, and it will be a throw in. Sanchez. Ooh, nice tackle. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Come on, Mason. But it didn't happen for them. About to sell you. About to sell you to United after this game. Now, what can oh, yeah, you are on United. From this position? A fine reading of the situation. Yo, ban that guy. Who's on kick? Ban him. I don't have a Renfro jersey spreading misinformation. I don't like the Hakimi. misinformation, disinformation. I don't like any of that. This is a this is a free speech channel. We don't like hate speech around here. Ooh, that's a ball. It's a good ball. Go, you slow bastard. Oh! I choked. I choked. Renato Sanchez. Could be a chance to break here. Can they keep it going? Bratty, what the hell you think you're doing? Ooh, here comes the counter. Can he take advantage? Hubbard Spang! Cool flip, cool flip. Mike, how much games do you think the Raiders are going to win this year? Give a range, like, pessimistic and optimistic. What do you think? Worst case? Best case? So I want to see if you're a real Raider fan. I guess whoever thinks we're going to win the Super Bowl is the realest of the Raider fans. Only. Neymar. Neymar. Now. Return to Neymar. Spot on with that tackle. Now can they counter clinically? And the electronic Captain America. I'm gonna hit a Travella. Never mind. And a decent save. Full credit. Trash. No, I'm not a ban. You're about to get banned. Now sending it in. Go, GG's. Ban that. And that, Pab. Eight wins. You're a real Raider fan to me because I said five to seven. Because we we need Josh. If Josh Jacobs goes goes in our team, I, I change my range. But if he doesn't play, then he's such a workhorse on our offense that if we don't have him, it's going to be bad. We're, imagine that. It's either we get Josh Jacobs and he does a workhorse just like he is every year, or we rely on Jimmy Garoppolo heavily. It's not going to be good if we have to rely on Jimmy Garoppolo. We've seen, we make fun of Hesse this past five years about if you make the Niners throw, you're going to lose the game. Like, and then we get him on our team with his, uh, with his limitations at quarterback. So, I mean. If me pointing that out means I'm a fake Raider fan, then I guess so. And to I mean, it's just called consistency. We all said the same thing to Hess for, for damn fear forever. 
and now he can't switch up and be like, oh, Jeremy Grapple is actually, a, actually really good. He's actually going to take the Raiders to the playoffs. So, I don't know. Break his legs. That's what you get for red carding me. That's what, I'm, that's what I'm saying. We won six games last year. My range is five to seven. I don't think we got any better. Does that? I would see us getting five to seven wins. It's basically six. I, hopefully, we do better than last year, but I just don't see it. I don't see it happening. Hopefully, I'm wrong. Hopefully, Sam's right. Sam said we're going to go to the playoffs and anything can happen. That means he's picking us to win the Super Bowl. So, I hope he's right, and I hope we're both wrong. But I wouldn't bet on it. I'd definitely not bet on that. But you're not a real Raider fan, then. Because eight wins might not make the playoffs. I already, I, in my opinion, if I, what I foresee happening is the Raiders sucking. Maybe we get six wins again. Maybe we don't. If we don't, if we get, if we do worse, we're just gonna suck. We're gonna probably fire McDaniel's and do another rebuild next year. New coach, like, probably have to draft the. Maybe we suck all the way till we get the first pick we draft the USC quarterback and that changes our freaking our lives oh shite Niners had one of the best offenses though you didn't really have to run pass the ball you could just throw it he had Kittle he had Debo freaking McCaffrey like they had weapons over there. They had a beast O line that can just run the ball at will, and pass protect. Like I would say, the Niners' offense is better than the Raiders' offense. We do got the better receiver with Devontae. Renfro didn't do crap last year. Holy crap! This guy's trying to come back on me. I was looking at the chat. I would say the Niners have a better offense than the Raiders last season. I would say we had the better quarterback, but now we now we have their quarterback and I just think Derek Carr is a better quarterback than Garoppolo. And we've said that for years, and I, I just not gonna. I wasn't lying. I'm not gonna be like, oh no, Derek Carr actually does suck. Garoppolo's better. How do I make it? How? How does it make sense? I don't like the moves that I don't like, and then I like the moves that they do make. Just because I don't think... I, I said, First of all, I agree I like the signing of Marcus Peters, but but when I see stuff like, oh, no fly zone, and oh, now our defense is going to be good. like Signing a 30-year cornerback is is a good signing, I think, but it's not... It doesn't... It's not. It's nothing crazy. He's not. It is, he doesn't move our win-loss record tally. It's not a signing where I'm like, oh, he's gonna win us games now. We're gonna win more games with him. It's a good signing, but it's not. It's not a, a mover for me. All right. We'll see. They've regained possession. Holy crap. Now can they make something happen? Well, Garoppolo's never had to throw the ball past 20 yards on the Niners, so we'll see what he, when he actually has to pass the ball. We've seen what he has to do in, when we watched him play, and he had to pass the ball down the field, and it wasn't it wasn't pretty. But now that he has to, the Raiders aren't a dink and dunk offense. Like He's not going to be running all these little screens and stuff. Holy crap, dude. I'm freaking going to choke with a red card. Right. Marcus Peters is a, is a win mover. Let's see. Maybe like, a prime Marcus Peters? Then yeah. Okay. Hell yeah. That's, a, that's an amazing signing. I just think it's a good signing. I think he's better than any corners we have right now. And that's Besides Hobbs. I like Hobbs. They play in. Let me check. 
And there's the delivery. I don't know what time it is. Hold on. Game's almost over. Oh, this is a freaking football channel, guys. Come on. You guys are asking me about American football? Handball? This is a... You guys are in the wrong place. I don't know anything about that. What the freak? If I choke this... Well, for a second, I thought that was going to seal it. Still enough time for an equalizer here, though. Let's hold on, boys. We're going home. And just one goal between them. I must say, this looks promising. <gasps> Perfectly positioned to take it away. Oh, no. Oh, that could have been bad. Oh, this could be bad, too. Before will they go chasing the game? Oh, my God, dude. Get the ball out. Giving it away. That was risky. Absolutely sense the frustration drawing in the opposition camp. They can't get near the ball. Well, totaling up all the stoppages, we'll have two additional minutes. Reese James. GG's boys. The referee's whistle, and it's a win for Chelsea. That's the big headline, Stuart. Well, Derek, oh, I don't think Marcus Peters is going to change. It, like I say, we win in five to seven games. Then you tell me tomorrow we sign Marcus Peters. Okay, we're, we're winning five to seven games. Yeah, that's it doesn't, it doesn't, it helps us win games. Yeah, but it doesn't change my, it doesn't change what you think. Now, if you sign, if you say we sign like the best corner, the top five corner in our league, I'm like, oh, damn, maybe we win one, two more games because of that. But no, not Marcus Peters would not change that. The Man U game is in an hour and a half. It should be a match to look forward to. Yeah, I, I, it is a good pickup. He's he's be good to have in the team just because we don't have any. I don't know who our starting corner should be if we didn't have him. He's probably top three corner already on our team. We don't really have good corners. Hopefully that safety from I think he's from the Eagles that we signed. Hopefully, hopefully he does good. He's supposed to start at free safety, but I don't know how good he is either. Morag is young, and I feel like he's all right. He's he's not he hasn't played any really like high level. Like he's not Pro Bowl caliber, but hopefully he's good. Well, the stage he is old. He's out of his prime. He's 30 years old for a corner. I'm Derek Ray at the microphone, and joining me for match commentary is Stuart Robson. And it's really hard to be in the 30s and get a good contract because GMs know you're old. That's why he got a one-year, five million dollar contract. He wasn't expensive for a reason. Like, so to say here, pretend like he's an amazing player is crazy to me. Like, there's a reason he's only one year, five mil. We didn't sign a superstar. He's a good player. He's a good signing on a good contract. Five, one year, five year. Five mil is pretty good for a nice vet. I think you're misrepresenting my thing. I, I, I'm saying it's a good signing. It's just. But we didn't sign freaking prime Charles Woodson like everyone's asking, acting like. And we just got a decent signing. It was a good signing. We need, we need more signings like that. That's a good signing. He's a good quality player. Nothing crazy. We, we don't need pro bowlers in every position. I don't think any pro bowlers would want to come sign for the Raiders anyways because we don't have a coach. So we can sign all these players you want. I don't think Josh McDaniels is good. So it all comes, stems. My, my view on the Raiders stems from our head coach mostly. I don't think he's good. Just like you don't think he's good. Liverpool might be able to cash in. Let's Holy crap. Well, the goalkeeper managed to make the save without much difficulty in the end.
Yeah, I don't know. I don't know because I'm trying to play, and then I then I look at the chat, and then I'm responding probably late. So I don't. You're probably you're probably disagreeing with me, and I don't even know it. Mason. What do you mean? I like some. I like the signing. I just don't think it moves the meter. Like, you need like a few good signings to please make that. So, I'm just saying it's a good signing. But you asked me the day before we signed them. I say we went. We're about to win five to seven games a season. Then you asked me the day after, and I'm like, yeah, we're still gonna win five to seven. It doesn't mean it's not a good signing. I just. It is a good signing, but. It's not. It's a one-year, five million dollar signing. That's what it's going to be. He probably won't be playing for the Raiders next year. He's old. It's no one's going to give him a multi-year contract. It's going to be a one-year deal. If he does good, he will probably get a one-year deal somewhere else. Like, I just don't like how everyone's overhyping it. Like, oh damn, no fly zone. The Raiders just got a freaking beast corner. Like, oh, he's good, but he's all right. He's not. There's a reason he's one-year, five mil. Like. His value is based on his contract. That's that's what people think. He, uh, it's not only me. Raider fans, I see that on Twitter. They're like hyping it up, like no fly zone. And they just like it's because we got a Marcus, a 30-year-old Marcus Peters. That's that didn't play two seasons. Missed a whole two uh, season, two seasons ago, and then got one interception last season. That Marcus Peters. Okay, that's a good signing. But. He missed all of what, the 2021 season, got one pick 2022 season. Like I, I don't think I'm the one talking crazy here. I still think it's a good signing, but. We'll see. He should start for us. We don't have much options at starter. Start by default. Stupid. Bring your goalie out. <clears throat> Very good at FIFA. I'm even better at Madden though. That's what I'm waiting for, for it to come out. I will not be using Marcus Peters on my team. Ooh, shoot. It's a perfect challenge. Well, Chelsea have had so much possession, as you can see, and that's been because of their ability to win the ball back. Go, Pulisic. Their pressing has been excellent. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. He tricked me. He pulled and then... Smuggled away. And fed forwards. Chance to reduce the arrears. I'm good at everything. Good thing, too. I'm good at football commentary too. About to just stop playing FIFA and just do a do a freaking uh, Oakland, I mean the Las Vegas Raiders freaking commentary channel on stream that and just talk crap to all Raider fans that call, say I'm a fake Raider fan. Sam's logic is stupid. It's like. If I think I'm, we're gonna win less games than he thinks, then I'm not a real Raider fan. So like, if I if I say we're gonna go 12 and five, and he's like, no, I thought we were gonna win 10 games, then I'm like, then I can just say you're not a real Raider fan. Then you're a fake Raider fan. It doesn't make no sense. Only real Raider fans. You're only a real Raider fan if you say you're, we're gonna win the Super Bowl. Freaking Salah, piss off. Well, from an attacking point of view, it's been a very good performance. I really like the way they've got the ball from back to front, then how the forwards have got away yeah, from right. the markers, and the speed of their attacks as well. It's been a really impressive first half. You gotta talk real football. He's in Discord? He went, oh, now he's challenging me to a Discord debate, huh? I'll freaking see you in Discord. I'm not scared. Um, welcome to the Raider channel. This is Blue Devil speaking. First caller coming in live from the Raider channel. 
Sam, go ahead. You're online. Hey, 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 hey. I'm going to need you. I'm going to need you to. I'm going to need you to. Oh, he's not talking to me. That's why I was about to say. I can't hear you. It sounds like you're on speaker. Hold on, me. We're having Raider debate. That's what we're doing today. Go ahead and turn this down. Oh, no. What? Oh, now you guys both coming in here? It's, it's one caller at a time. Bull crap. They're coming in here and jumping me. You said you wanted a third, you said you wanted a third channel. What's up? Yeah, I'm trying to turn FIFA down. I don't know not me. I can't hear Sam. Yeah, he's on speakerphone. All right, we're having Raider debate. Let's go. That's what we're doing. He's talking on a speaker. He's talking to I'm someone else on work. Dude, what? Oh, there oh. he is. See? This, this guy, this guy. Welcome, uh, no welcome to caller number one. Sam, you're on the line. Go ahead. Why can I hear myself twice? Because <laughs> you're listening on the kick? I still see you in there. That's your problem. You don't listen. You don't listen to anyone else. You just listen to yourself twice. Um. No, you're just an idiot because the things that you say don't make sense. First of all, Marcus Peters, since he's came in the league, has the most interceptions. So you're Dude, not he missed. Like he's he missed all of 2021, and then he got one pick yeah. last season. Imagine, imagine, yes, imagine he was good this, back then. Imagine yes, I agree. The whole year, and then the next year getting one pick, and you still lead the league in interceptions <laughs> since he got drafted. Yes, he was good. I agree. Marcus Peters he's is underrated, good. highly he, underrated in his he's, career. He's coming off of a, a season-ending injury. Of course, he's going to be. No, he played last season. Look at his stats. Yeah, I know he played last, but he came so, off of a season-ending so, okay. so, injury. So, so let me is this Raiders defense better than the Ravens defense? And is this Marcus Peters, a one year older Marcus Peters, wait, better than wait, the, last year's Marcus wait, Peters? Let me ask you That's questions. another thing. You keep let saying Marcus Peters is old. He Marcus is. Peters is 30 years old. That's old for corner. No, it's not. Stephon Gilmore just got a freaking contract and he's like 33. What are you talking about? That, that doesn't mean 30 is not old because Stephon Gilmore got a contract. He didn't get a he didn't get a big contract. Is tell you that. 30 years old. Yeah, and Jalen Ramsey's 28, so exactly. Like, or those two years make a big difference. All right, you're right. Okay, Mark Peters not old. Let me ask you a Did the Raiders defense get better this year? For sure. Uh, I don't know. Exactly. What do you mean you don't know? Crosby's oh, getting we've better. Only, we've only added Drafted. addition. We added a draft pick who's a good edge rusher. We, we don't know if the edge rusher is going to be good. He's a draft pick. Okay. Literally. Diablo is going to be better. Can you, can you Diablo can't even stay healthy. He doesn't. He misses every freaking game. He's only played two years. Yeah, he's been hurt for two two years. No, he hasn't. That was freaking Stop. Look at his game. Him. Look at his games played past two seasons and tell me he's he's consistently playing. He's missed time both seasons, a considerable amount of time actually. I'm we don't have no linebackers. Our, our defense is 100% got better because it could not have gotten any worse. What so. I'm saying Yeah, that's is, true. It can't get I much say, worse, but we're still bottom 5 defense. Say, the reason why um, I say you're not a fan is because at the end of the day, the, um, you're going to have to agree with the team that that you ride for, obviously. How? You spent the freaking fast, past you, 5 seasons talking crap about our quarterback every freaking season. What are you talking okay. about? Oh, okay. The hell? I'm I'm saying. One All of a player, sudden, now every, you gotta stick with your team. Move, every move the Raiders make, you're like. Oh, what do you mean every this move? This and that. Every move we make, it's, it's always like that. Which move have I not liked? None of the moves. Because I like Marcus Peters signing. I, that's why I'm I'm confused. You guys are oh, making. Do you like it? You were I, just saying he's. The first thing I said it. was. Like it? Do you like it or do you not like it? That's the real question. The hell? The first thing I've never said I don't like the Marcus Peters signing. You're over here. You're, what do you mean? You were just saying, oh, hopefully he starts. Like, what? I didn't say hopefully he starts. I said I said he is gonna start because we don't have much option at corner. Yeah, he said he's. What said are you talking he'll about? Probably, he'll probably start. That's what he said. Yeah, yeah like, we don't have much option. Start, what? He will start. Like, he is our starter. Okay. Yeah, because we don't have good corners, I'm right? Saying Marcus Peters. I'm I, not I saying. Think, I think the problem that you're running into is that we're. We can sign Marcus Peters as a good. He's a good corner. I didn't say he's an elite top five. Yeah, he's corner. not elite. I'm not saying thing, he's elite. The first thing you say is. Oh, no, it's because not that you goal. not just you guys, but there's lots of people that are freaking out of, over. Out of, the, out of the 32 teams in the NFL, he is not. He would get drafted before a lot of. He's better than a lot of cor corners in the 32 teams. Yeah, he's. he's I don't even know what that means. In the 32 teams in the NFL, he's definitely better than. 
a lot of those corners that are on those. Oh well, yeah, obviously. So he's a good corner. We're talking about the starters. We're talking about the starters. Yeah. Probably yeah. A lot of teams don't have good corners. Like us, we don't really right. have good corners. So what are you talking about? Well, only thing that we lacked was linebackers. No, we have Diablo's the... good. Spillane's good. Who the hell is Spillane? Are you serious? Robert Spillane. When the hell did we get him? We got him in offseason. Do you not know? I don't know who that is. I'm sorry. Well, Google him. I, I'm gonna have to Google him because I don't we know who that, that is. Rams was name Long 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 Johnson Long Junior Johnson. Yeah, he, 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 I'm sorry, but we don't have no D line besides Crosby. Um, we, you're just banking you on a. You you're banking D-line. on. You're gonna call it what a rookie? No, you're not. banking on a rookie. Got Chandler Jones. Chandler Jones is freaking cheeks, and we've seen that all last year. He's a liability oh. in the run game. Yes, he sucks in the run game, and he gets like what he got like hey, three in, sacks. In the, in the big in the, freaking in cheeks. The big games when you needed him to show up, he showed up. What the hell? We didn't play any big games last season, and he didn't show up. We won. We won what six games last year, and how many of those games were freaking one one possession games? So I mean, let's be honest. We didn't suck last year. We just didn't come away with some of the ones that we had. Yeah, and I and I and I attribute that to coaching. I attribute that to coaching. Like I said, like I said, and we Josh still have the same McDaniels, coach. Josh McDaniels didn't throw the ball for Carr. Uh, he I, also I, didn't make the audibles for Carr either. Yeah, so I, so I, then Carr, so yeah, Carr was only. Think together. So Carr, um, Carr got all the points in the first half, and then decided like he's just he's just a, a different player in the second half. I think that's I play know, calling. He's just okay, play so calling. You watch Raider games, right? No, I don't watch Raider games. Okay, okay. So since you watch every Raider game, um, does Carr make audibles at the line? Yes or no? Yeah, Carr did make every audible. quarterback makes audibles. Okay, okay. So then, what how does are that you mean? Put that on the coaching. Him so, audibling plays? Yeah, he audibles out of plays, right? So if so, so if freaking. You can't, so if Garoppolo yeah. audibles out, Garoppolo's not gonna audible out of plays. Uh, he's gonna audible into the right play. Yeah. All right, sure he is. A quarterback can change the play at the line. If if he doesn't like the play, he can change the play at the line. And he and he just be honest. We put you had him for how many years? He just wasn't enough for us. So I'm not I'm not saying Jimmy Garoppolo's an, our savior, but I think he'll do better. Than is Carr. Jimmy That's Jimmy Garoppolo a better quarterback than Carr? Because we in spent. System, I, I think we, he will be. Yes. We spent. It How? He's a Niner quarterback system play, uh, player. He doesn't. He didn't have to pass the ball. Now he's gonna have to. Be, he's gonna have to. He, we we know what he's like. You're talking about Jimmy G on the on the Niners offense. Like that's that doesn't make any sense. That's like saying exactly. well, you put we know his, his we know his good. we know his limitations. He does not pass the ball. He doesn't drop back and pass the ball deep. Brandon Ayuk. 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 Debo. Kittle. McCaffrey. Like. They had a really good offense. Just just because you can name them, don't act like they're good. That run short K- route. Kittle's not an all. Kittle, Kittle and Kittle's Debo. Kittle's only good one. Debo's good because K- he runs the freaking football. <laughs> okay, that's that's good to have someone that can that takes the pressure off the quarterback. Does it not have a good run game? You're you're gonna compare Debo to uh, freaking yeah, Devontae? Yeah, that's no, I'm not. Weird. But I mean, yeah, the Raiders had Devontae last season, and Devontae had an amazing season, like. Highly statistical season, yeah, one Devontae of his best seasons, and that didn't help us. He's, he's, he's gonna have an amazing season regardless. He's the freaking best receiver in the NFL. I mean, I'm just saying, it, 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 you you're asking who's who's better, Jimmy Garoppolo or Derek Carr. It depends what you're asking. I mean, at, at better at what? what are they, passing the ball. I think, I passing think, the ball. I, well, I think taking care of the football. Garoppolo Garoppolo's has, better. Had four picks last year, and Derek Carr had 14. Yeah, it's yeah. that's what I'm saying. Garoppolo didn't have to throw the ball past 10 yards last season. We all know that. Not Who to pretend like he. About? Oh my God. Their offense is just running the ball and screens and little little routes. In our offense, he's gonna have to throw yeah, the ball down the field. That's their offense. So what do you? I mean, what are you saying? That's how they run their offense. You can't. You can't have an offense that likes to stretch. Yeah, they they and then, and then they. Like, well, he can throw the ball vertically. No, no they they have that offense because they know. Uh, their their coach knows his no, his limitations. Oh. No, even with okay, so why don't they stretch the ball vertically with Brock Purdy? Then they still do the same thing. They run the ball heavy. They run a lot of screens. They he was of- he was coming in off a of, because Garoppolo got injured. They're not going to switch the whole offense. They can, they might have a different they're offense now. Okay, so now. okay, so you're saying now they're not going to do any of that next year because Brock Purdy is, is a starter now. They're gonna. They're gonna I don't know what the they're going to do. 
That's but I know what, I know what, how Garoppolo is throwing the ball deep. I've seen him try to throw the ball deep, and it's hilarious. And we we trash. You guys are just you guys are just ball deep to a freaking five five receiver. Like right, he doesn't have the weapons to do certain things. Of course, it's like if if you if you're playing Call of Duty and you have a shotgun, you're like he can't snipe. All right, so then, so then Car, so then Car, so then so then Garoppolo's better thrower of the ball than Car. I'm not. I'm, I mean, I'm saying he he took care of the ball. Better at taking care of the football. Yes. He took like care like of the ball like you guys are saying, you can't every compare. Time, every time we play the Chiefs, like Derek Carr immediately just throws three picks every time. I'm I'm not saying he's better. I'm not saying he's worse. I'm saying we haven't seen we haven't seen Garoppolo in a system that doesn't rely heavily on their run and screen plays. I mean, and who is he going to throw the ball to? Kittle, a tight end, every single time, and he's probably double team half the time. He has no weapons now. He I would also weapons. say Jimmy G is a better red zone quarterback. Derek Carr is like the worst red zone yeah, quarterback. Derek Carr is probably the worst red zone quarterback in the NFL. Oh, the freaking coaching is he's, is horrible in the red zone. No, he's what do you mean? It was zone. even with John Gruden. <laughs> the yeah, hell? He has always sucked in the red zone. Every time we get in the red zone, we're like crap. We freaking yeah, we just every freaking time. yeah, we just feel no, every time. time. We were good in the red zone, then we had Crabtree and, and Cooper, and he would they would run like little fades and little out routes. Yeah. <laughs> Crab yeah, that was, was with Derek. That was with Derek Carr. Yeah, that was okay, also we have one Devontae year. Adams. That was also only one year. I'm saying, I I haven't seen us score in the red zone like that. And, and that was that was pre-injury too. When yeah, Derek I Carr wasn't scared. Yeah, I think I think uh, we should have kept Derek, Del Rio. Derek, Derek Carr was better pre-injury. I mean, he oh, oh, he drug us to the the playoffs two seasons ago. We won what eleven games uh, two seasons ago. And he also and he also gave. Um, also threw a pick to make us lose that game in the playoffs too. So, yeah, yeah did you see that play call? That play call was freaking super weird. Did you see that throw where he threw it in triple coverage? Right, but but see, you're, but you're, contra- you're contradicting yourself now. You're like eyes well, closed. Carr, you're contradicting because you said Derek Carr only threw that pick because the play call was bad. Well, the play calling for Garoppolo in in San Francisco is going to be a lot different than the play calling here. So how is he going to throw the ball if his play calling is all short routes and you're telling him to throw? Well, the ball I, ho- I don't think we have the. It's because I, I I think Garoppolo is that quarterback. He's a sh- uh, game manager, short thrower. Does, don't ask him to do too much. But I don't think we have the offense for that. I'm okay with that. We I don't, don't have the offense. What do you mean? Henry, no, we Henry, don't have. We don't have a. We don't have an own line. We don't have a running game. That's, that's exactly when you would want to do short throws. What do you mean? Why no, you you you, you rely throws? on the running game to to even have that option what do you mean? of an we offense. Best, we have the best running back in football. We don't we have, have a running receiver. back. He's going to play, dude. He's just being, you know what he's being. Yeah, exactly. You mm. know what he's being. I hope he does, but if he doesn't, that if we get Josh Jacobs, then my okay. win, my win, let's, let's my win guess goes up. Does, does, does the running back really matter that much? You put anybody back there, it, it all matters on how the O-line moves. The pe- moves yeah, the I don't line. I don't think we have a good O-line either. Well, how did he run the ball so good then? How do we have the league? The league because uh, 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 Josh Jacobs led the league. I like, can broken tackles because I think he is actually one of the elite, the few elite running backs that actually does matter on offense. Uh, Our offense line ain't that bad. Is you're trying to right. make it sound like who's good on the O line? Um, um, our center's pretty good. James is pretty good. Colton Miller's pretty good. Our center and James is the same person, isn't it? That's what yeah. I said. Our center, James. Yeah, Jermaine Ulamini Mar is good. I mean, it's not it's definitely not like top five, but I mean, they're decent. There's teams with Bengals got a freaking crap all line. That's a crap. Oh, well, then Mike's not a real Raider fan because Mike said we're not making the playoffs. I didn't say that. You said we're winning eight I, games. Eight games ain't making the playoffs. I said we win eight games minimum. That's what I said. I, I, oh. I said I said I said the Raiders could win ten. Um, yeah, the biggest ten. The biggest thing is. Um, if the defense isn't as bad Chiefs. as last we year, we just got to split. We just got to split with the Chiefs. Derek Carr, for some right. reason, uh, loves to throw picks against the Chiefs. I don't know why. I'm saying, I'm saying, we we did we didn't get worse. We got we got we had to have gotten better. We didn't. If Josh Jacobs plays, we definitely got better. The only the only trade that makes a big impact is the Carr and Garoppolo. Other than that, the defense got better because they brought in players who are better. So by that logic, we got better because we didn't lose anybody. So we can't get any worse. And Did we lose offense. Perryman? What the hell? What the hell was Perryman? Perryman. He was like Did hurt we? the whole last year, pretty much. He played like, and then he gets suspended. Yeah. Did I'm he saying... even play on the Raiders last year? You know what? You know what? I don't think he did either. Now that I think yeah, about it, he didn't play on the. Damn. Raiders so we did lose Perryman exactly. 
He didn't yeah. play on the Raiders last yeah. year. Exactly, because we lost him. This man's been asleep the whole last year season. That's the problem. Yeah, because we sucked. It wasn't worth. It wasn't worth watching. I'm saying we okay. We won six games, and with how many one possession games did we lose? Probably like six, like seven of them. Probably like six or seven. If you just yeah, but then that, yeah, but then you're saying three or four wins, and we got better. We had to have gotten better. Obviously, we're on. I'm not saying Garoppolo can throw the ball deep like Derek Carr can, but I'm saying. Garoppolo takes care of the ball, and I'd rather have the quarterback. That's the only play. thing that Derek. But then, but then we're gonna, Derek then we're gonna sit here, ball. then we're gonna sit here and complain and be like, this freaking quarterback doesn't freaking throw the ball. He just checks. It. We already know. We're just gonna complain. Oh, it's third and oh, it's third and nine. About? We're gonna say. Stats. How can you say you don't? We're gonna football? we're gonna be like it's third and nine, and he freaking threw a check down. We're just uh, it's gonna be constant. Like it's gonna be no. annoying. What yes. do you mean Derek Carr does that all the time? Derek Carr led the was like top how many top times? In, <laughs> How Tops in the league and have deep throws. Card, how many times have you seen him throw the ball away on third down? I don't know. Probably not that many. It's probably, it's probably, uh, probably not. And then he'll audible to a run on third down. When Derek Carr is getting blitz, he don't know what to do. That's funny. He's one of the best quarterbacks against pressure. No, he's not. He just there falls he or he just throws it away, throws it on the ground. <clears throat> they have to pretty much beg him to start using his legs. Play me a Madden then. Since you're so good. I will. Well, we'll I'll see who's right. Down anything. Yeah, I'm just saying. I'm just saying that. I think we win more games than last year. So if you're sitting here and saying, well, I hope so. Year, then... Do you really I think hope I, so? I, I think we're going like to. I think we're matching last year. Yeah, do you hope so? Because you're just real negative. No, I'm not negative. I just don't see. I just don't see it. Like the, the evidence I'm presented, I just don't see it. I don't see it. It's weird that oh. like when, when I think we downgraded like, huge at quarterback. I think Derek Carr's gonna make the playoffs with the Saints. I really do. I think he's making the playoffs with the Saints, and I think we're gonna be probably similar to last season. Basically, the worst division of football. Where I don't. It doesn't matter. Almost got them in. It doesn't matter. You, <laughs> I think he's gonna make the playoffs next season. So does. So by that logic. Mariota was better than Derek Carr because as soon as we cut him, he went to the Eagle. I mean, the Falcons that did better. No, he didn't. More wins. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. Mariota got hurt, and his record as as starter sucked with the Falcons. So no, Hell he didn't. Hell no. Hell no. <laughs> right. Before he got hurt, they were Check. good. No, they weren't. Check his his stats and record as a starter. That's why he's not coming back to start. Because if that was true, then they would start him still, right? He's not. Yep. It's probably not going to start. Yeah, because you know. Yes, the Falcons, they won like four or five games last season. I don't know what you're talking about. He was out playing car and then he got hurt. In which games? In which they were 4-0, is that what you're trying to tell me? And then he got hurt and they lost every single game? Yep. Right. Out playing car. Mariota could never... Uh, yeah, I mean. We'll, we'll see. I hope I'm wrong. I hope the Raiders do win ten games. That'd be amazing. I mean, it's not even like I bet you all the experts when we start the preseason is coming up when we start seeing all this stuff. Like I'm not crazy, but uh, I'm, actually, I would say Falcons had seven wins last year and uh, Raiders had six. So. Oh, big deal in the worst division in football. Huh. Yeah. Yeah, well, the Raiders would have twenty wins if they played in that division. Well, exactly. we'll see. I mean, no, it's like because, uh, I, I no don't one, think no one in that division had a winning record, so huh. yeah. Yeah, so it doesn't matter. I still think they still make the playoffs. He's not. They're not going to move him out of a division. Um, I I don't know. I don't think I'm crazy. I feel like once this, all these like experts start predicting, like they're they're going to say something stupid, like the Raiders are going to win like three games, like the first one we've seen. Like it's I'm, I think I'm being optimistic, and because I'm a Raider fan. The same thing. They say the same thing every year. So that means they're. Oh, they coming. don't. No, they don't. They had a lot of people picking the Raiders to win the division. Hell no. After the Raiders made the playoffs and we got Devontae Adams, yes, they had a lot of people picking the Raiders to win the division. Yes, they did. Hell no. Yes. A lot, a, a lot not, of teams maybe not to. Maybe not reason. to win the division, but they had the Raiders making the playoffs. When we made the playoffs last uh, two years ago, this season, the new season, when we signed Devontae Adams and we had all this hype, 
Yes, people did not predict the Raiders to win three games. Any, I've never seen anyone predict Stop. the Raiders. To so you're telling So you're telling me so the Raiders point, went to the so What's your point? Why did we win six games then? Since the experts are so right and since you're so concerned about the experts pick, why did we I'm win not six concerned games? about the experts pick. I'm just saying a lot of a lot of the like, experts picks had the Broncos winning. You can go you can go off of you can go off of Vegas like that's pretty accurate. People don't play with their money. The Raiders the Raiders are probably like I'm probably the more Closer to to Vegas than you guys. Right. Probably, is, like you could, I'm just saying. You think they win ten games? You could probably win a lot of money if there's a, a bet where you could put the Raiders at plus ten or ten. Think win, if you think they're gonna win three games, you could probably make some money too. Yeah, you probably make a lot of money. I don't think games. they're gonna win three games. I said six. You say you three to five? Said I said five to seven. The experts are picking us to win three games. I'm waiting for the experts to pick, make their pick. What is that? I don't even understand why that I don't even know what long. you're talking about. Like, I'm saying if win. Sam thinks they're going to win 10 games, he can bet on it. That would win a lot of money because they're probably going to have them winning to like probably like three to five games. you seen the first. Oh, no. Three Ooh, to five games. Go on, Clarence. Yeah. you seen the, the first uh, thing? What? It was like three games. Yeah, to a nobody, you can't even name that guy. He's just... It was... Wasn't it a USA freaking... Today? What does USA Today know about football? I'm saying that's probably going to be common, though. Isn't it CBS Sports? What? Yeah. Like this nigga. <laughs> what? Those are not experts. Those aren't experts. Okay, Sam, well, you guys are gaming up on me. Mike's Mike's saying the Raiders aren't going to make the playoffs. He said they're winning eight games. Eight games ain't going to make, make the playoffs. Eight wins ain't going to make the playoffs. Eight and ten? Or eight and uh, nine? He's not going to make the playoffs. That's that yeah. does. I'm not. So he's not a real Raider fan. But the difference is the difference is is not is that I'm sitting here and being like, oh yeah, this Garoppolo sucks, Marcus Peters sucks, Raider sucks, everyone sucks. That's what you're doing. You're like, no, yeah, no. We, no we got no D line. We got no. Yeah, we have a lot of holes. You guys don't agree. We don't have. We have a lot of holes. You guys are breaking on a rookie. We suck. We didn't find anybody. We're still using Perryman. Yeah, what? that's not a fan. That's not a fan. Of the it Raiders. is a fan. Yeah, it's no, weird. it's not. It's weird for you to be like... Because we the Raiders have a lot of holes? I, what okay, the heck? No. And I'm noticing them? <laughs> You're it's saying our whole weird. team. Offensive yeah. line, D-line, linebacker. Yeah, I think we have... I don't think we have a... Yeah, I don't think we have a good old line. I don't think we have a good quarterback. We have wow. a good running back. We just, Josh Jacobs just had the most rushing yards. Almost 2,000. Yeah, he also he also led... Uh, probably led the league in yards after contact, too. So well, Yeah, he's a running back. What do you expect? What? He's yeah, a what? running back. What do you expect? There's gonna be contact. You want freaking exactly. untouched? All right, well. All right. Well, then by your logic, we have we're stacked at every position. Then why the heck are you, you saying we're gonna win eight games? Then I never said we we're gonna win eight. Mike said that we're stacked. And I didn't say we're stacked every position, but the difference between me and you is I'm I'm like, oh, we got a good rookie who, who every all the experts that you're talking about said he was good in the draft, that he was gonna come in and, be, and do good, and you're like. He's just a rookie. What's he gonna do? He's just a rookie. What? He he still played football. He's still he's a lineman. It's not yeah, like he's a he he can he can be the next Mike Carson's. That's funny because when we signed him, Sam was saying that he was a freaking reach and a bust like every other one. But I learned to accept him after <laughs> I he, we drafted him and I said, all right, cool, I'm rocking with him. Yeah, you got to give him a chance. You got to give him a chance. But, but I'm not I'm not sitting here yeah, hating exactly. on him like, oh yeah, not, this and that. Yeah, he's not who I wanted either, but he's good. Yeah, I'm rocking. I'm not gonna be like he sucks. He's only a rookie. He sucks. Oh, he's yeah, you gotta give him a chance. So they can't exactly. Be too young. Just like just like last young. year. They can't, they can't be too young and they can't be too old. Just like last 20, year 20, when 20, I exactly 23 and 25 and then they're out of their prime. That's just like doing. just like last year when I said um, Josh McDaniels could be good, we gotta give him a chance. And Sam said that he sucked. I'm just. Saying I never said. Weird, I never said weird. that. Yeah, I, I like Josh McDaniels. We well, Josh. About. Well, Josh McDaniels sucks as a coach. I gave him a chance, and I don't. I think he'll do good. It was his first year turning over the Raiders. He's never done. He's never been good though. Every job he's had. He's a good coordinator, but we don't need a coordinator. We need a head coach. I guess we'll see. Yeah, you can't you can't see. base a head coach off of one year when that wasn't yeah. his team. This, this is, is first, more of his team. First real year, so yeah. we, can, we can say what we want after this. And yeah. it seems like it seems like him and Carr <laughs> had no communication skills. How are, how are they supposed to be good if they can't work together? Yep. Because Carr's like he didn't he didn't let me put any input on the plays, but as soon as Garoppolo comes in, he's like, I like that I'm able to put my plays in the in the offense, and so I, it doesn't make sense. So somebody's wrong, either Carr is wrong or or McDaniel's is wrong. Somebody's wrong. Yep. 
So they just didn't work well together. I mean, there's a business. I mean, you got to you got to communicate with your head coach. They can communicate. And, and honestly, and honestly, like, um, <clears throat> I have a feeling Devonte just knew Car kind of sucked. That's why he never really like. Oh my god. He never really like. He knew he knew a lot of it was his fault. That's why he never really. Cause if he if he really came for the Raiders for just Carr, he would be like, all right. Well, Didn't Devontae Adams have like the okay. best year of his career? Statistically speaking, yeah, I mean, at least. Do you think that Do you think that Devontae Adams is the type of player that wants numbers only and doesn't want to win? Is that what you think? No, I don't think he's exactly. that type of player. Also, also Devontae Adams never played with all these other weapons. He's never had a Josh Jacobs. He's never had a Renfro. What do you mean? Uh, well, the weird thing is, I don't know why uh, McDaniels doesn't like Renfro. He didn't really do much last year. I wouldn't. He was hurt hurt a lot last year. I wouldn't say he doesn't like him. If he didn't like him, oh he wouldn't God. be on the Raiders. What about when he fumbled the ball twice in the same play? Yeah, we lost that game in overtime because of that. <laughs> Fumble six in overtime, and we were almost in field goal range already. He doesn't. Maybe he likes players to take care of the ball. True. Renfro's good, but. Who's our tight end now? The, the freaking best tight end in the draft from Notre Dame. Oh, rookie Dame. again. Oh, he's a rookie. Oh, yeah. he's a rookie. He sucks. He's gonna suck. Oh, yeah. no, I give rookies chances. No, dude. But no, weird. but when you, I'm just saying when we what do we have as a team and you guys I'm point saying, out rookies, that's I'm unpredictable. Like, we don't know if he's really good. He was the best tight end in the draft. Oh, great. Here we go. He, yeah. They can't, be too, they can't be too young and they can't be too old. They have to be 23 or 25 in order to be good. <laughs> it's no, weird. I'm just saying 50% of first rounders are bust. And it's just statistical okay, facts. So we don't know if he's going to be good. So yeah, I hope well, he is we good. Don't know if anybody's going to be the good. The heck? You don't know I hope if he is good. Gonna be good. You can sign up a, a, a freaking top three corner, a top three player from a team, and he goes to a new team. And he, and no one knows if he's going to be good. He can suck. Look at yeah, that's awesome true. Now. That is exactly true. That's what. So yeah. It doesn't matter who we get. We should just start picking up random players because you never know who's good. You never know. No, that's not, right. not how it works. You, know, you can only. Oh, you're right. Every signing's good and it every. Doesn't make sense. It don't make sense because you can only analyze what you have. We have college film on him. He was good, but you're like, well, it's just college, so he's probably not good. No, we. You can only look at what we have. The guy Does was that good. Mean Caleb's in the second picture. Caleb was. Oh, he's in the win the Heisman. And he's gonna fucking what, what are you basing that off though? College film or he won the Heisman last season, he's gonna win it again. We're gonna win the national championship. Oh, so oh, okay. How though? That was last year. You never know what's gonna happen this year. What the hell? You freaking don't say that. You trying to freaking hope he gets tears his ACL? What the hell? This is weird, dude. That was this guy's problem. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna take freaking I'm not gonna dude, now you're football. playing with people's health. I, I'm not gonna take football advice from a guy who's like Sam Darnold's gonna be a beast in the NFL. Oh Sam Darnold <laughs> just sucked because he had no offensive line. Oh Sam Darnold sucks now because his, his team sucks too. Right. You <laughs> never you never you never said a player with, that came out of college was gonna be good and, and every player that you said was you gonna come out was good. About Matt Liner. No, you sucked. would say you would say he's good in the NFL when he was actively in the NFL, and you were like, "No, nah, <laughs> yeah. no." I just said he. I said it's hard to. You blamed it. On, you blamed it on his team. I yeah, said it. I said time. it was. Yeah, I said it would be hard for any player to be good at freaking. Where did he get drafted to? Joe Burrow doesn't have a problem with it. Yeah, he has. The, Joe Burrow. Joe Burrow didn't there. go to the freaking. Where did he go to the Jets? Yo, Burrow came. The Bengals, the Bengals were a first pick for a reason. You yeah, they Burrow. also supplied him a weapons. You can't name me one of the Jets receivers when uh, you can't Donald name was. One of his offensive linemen. What are you talking about? When 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 uh, the Jets had uh, Anderson when he was one of the top receivers at the time. Who the hell is Anderson? Robbie Anderson. Robbie Anderson, Robbie Anderson has never been a top receiver. What are you talking about? Yeah, he He's freaking cheeks. He's like 110 pounds. Oh. For what are you one talking year, about? he was one of the top receivers. Yes, he was. Who? For what? Which year? What, which year are you referring to? I don't know. You act like I have. I don't know either. Down somewhere and just look at the stats. I don't know. I don't think he's ever been a top receiver. Yes, you're you're yes, tripping. Yes, he was. Yes, he was. And is it 2020? He had 1,100 receiving yards. Probably, which is outstanding. Which is good. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'll be asking his <laughs> cheeks. How? He had 1,100 yards. What, let's see. Maybe that's the year he's talking about. No, uh, Robbie Anderson cheeks. Yep, that is that is probably the year he's talking about. Let's see. What's his name? Uh... 
And then he freaking just went like demon How's he possessed. Cheap when he had eleven hundred eleven hundred receiving yards though. He That's probably has long. he probably has twelve hundred receiving yards his whole damn career because he's cheeks. I'm just I'm telling you he had eleven hundred receiving yards. So cheeks. How is that he, cheeks? You just don't know football. Rob Anderson is cheeks. Oh What's wrong God. with this guy? Rob Anderson would even start on our team. He's cheeks. You can't debate with someone who doesn't want to debate. That's the problem. The guy just like. You guys are freaking. Yeah, he has a oh, you guys are freaking. And... You guys are freaking goofy. Oh, the Raiders are, are going to be better I'm than last hard. year. Oh, the Raiders mean, are going to make the playoffs. Hard. Anything can happen in the playoffs. Saying, Raiders I was, suck. I was 1100 receiving yards. Cheeks. I'm saying he was good that year, was he not? Is he probably had an off year. Yards? He's not. A, he's not. Right? Sam. That's not what Sam said. Sam said he was a top receiver. He's he never was. been a top receiver. Yeah. Did I not say – I didn't say he's never had a good season. He's just not a top receiver. Was the, I didn't say he was the top. I said he You said he was, was a. a top receiver. Yeah, he's never been a top receiver. What do you like mean? Him? He's had a good – yes, he's had a good season. He's probably had one good season his whole career. He he's never been a top, top receiver. He was receivers of that year. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Top in what? What, did he, what, what was he top in? You think 1,100 receiving yards is just done by everyone? No, it's a good season, but that – Line up the season. It wasn't it probably was nowhere near the top. Yeah, he's probably had he one was, good season. But to say sit here and tell me Robbie top Anderson 10. was a top receiver. Yeah, okay. He was top ten, he was top 10, 10 that year. That's all. Yeah, that's all. That's top receiver. Yeah, he's never he'll that's never good. have another uh, season like that. That's a I'm fluke not, season. I'm not, okay, I'm not saying he's well, still one of the he, top he, receivers. He, the year before he had eight hundred, the year before that he had eight hundred, the year before that he had a thousand. Yeah, he's so a good he's like good. a he's like a good second receiver. On his team, like a, he's like a number two, oh, a solid yeah, number he's two. Good, but, but he's a solid number two, saying, yeah. Yeah. No. You, there's there's a difference between me saying he's a solid number two receiver on a team, and you saying he's a top receiver of the league. Like he, what the he hell? He was a top receiver at the time. Yes, he was. And then he just went like freaking weird and, and got demon possessed and freaking I don't know what's wrong with him now. But the point is that you're trying to say that that Let's go. he didn't do good because because he didn't have any weapons. Well, I, I don't care about Sam Darnold. He he was a bust too. I thought he was yeah. I thought he was gonna be good coming out of the. He's good in college. He he sucked exactly. My point. Not everyone coming out of college is good. Yeah, well, yeah, it's understandable. Yeah, he's a bust. But, you saying, but who the hell sits here and, and is like, yeah, he's, he's probably gonna suck because he's in college. Like, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> That's what I said. He's probably gonna suck because he came from college. Yeah, uh, you, you guys just miss. That's why I said he's gonna suck because he came from college. Well, you've been saying that about all of our rookies. Like, oh, he's just a rookie. Like, he's not gonna. Yeah. Oh, I'm usually. It's, it's freaking so weird. Like, I'm usually the one on the opposite side of the conversation. Every year, I'm like, oh, we gotta give this rookie a chance. No, we freaking reach. He sucks. He sucks. He's gonna suck. And now I'm. This is the first year. I don't yeah, even. I'm not even talking about. That. I'm not even talking about this rookie. I don't know if he's gonna be good or bad. But you gotta give him a chance. Reach, what the hell? I have a say it was a reach was freaking Cleveland Farrell. And yep, he wasn't me reach. too. That's the only he one. No, oh, Abraham was a reach. There was like so much reaches How going on. How was Abraham a reach? He was like a freaking first fourth all, round pick. Is, first of all, his name is Abraham. Abraham, Abraham was a Abraham was a first round pick. What are you talking about? And he was a reach. Well, he played like a fourth round pick. Um, signing a running back was bad. That was a reach. So a lot of people. Like, I didn't love running back. The running back that we signed in the first round. There's only one running back we signed in the first round. Yeah, the same year Farrell got drafted. What are you talking about? We signed three. We got three first rounders. They were all supposedly reaches. You don't supposedly you weren't supposed to. Josh Jacobs. We were. I like Josh Jacobs. A lot of people said that. A lot of people said that. No one ever said. We're talking about us. We're not talking about what other people said. We're talking about us. Yeah, I'm. I know. We we all have. Jacobs was a reach. We all have opinions, and no one is right 100% of the time. Just, just, I don't know. Why I'm would just you? Saying, if you're a Raider why, fan, I don't understand how you hate on every single move we make. And that, that could have said the same thing to you. You were hate. You used to hate on the Raiders anything. forever. The only time I, the only person I ever complained about. You on hated the on Farrell when Cleo he got drafted. Farrell. Yeah, Derek Cleo Carr for Derek for nine Carr. years. That's it. Yeah, that was our quarterback for nine and years. That turned out to be right. We had one winning season in nine years. Well, I don't think it's his fault. He took us to the playoffs two times. It's not his fault, but he had three coaches. Well, you, you yeah, can't he, blame the and, coach every time. Yeah, and he uh, went to the playoffs with an interim coach. So, And then he That's went to the playoffs with Del Rio. And then we lost. Well, yeah. 
yeah, so it doesn't matter. So then we then I we had then we have to win the Super Bowl then. What? Then we have to win the Super Bowl or does it does whatever? I'm, I'm I mean, saying. Getting, getting to the playoffs would be nice. I mean, winning winning important crucial. I don't think McDaniel's that guy. Oh, and one in the playoffs in nine years is matter. not it. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Mike, do you I'm think McDaniel is gonna? Do you think McDaniel is a good coach and he's gonna be here for an extended amount of time? I, 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 I can't judge saying, that right I, now. I, no, Mike, because we, we have to give him. A I year. remember what he, he said recently. He didn't have a year. So we gotta give him two years. No, he, did he have a year where he built his own team and, and had? His well, team? no. Well, then the, well, the, by that logic, said, by that logic, we have to give him. A, well, you can't give a coach one year when they come in and they have the old team. No, by that logic, we have to give him three years then. At minimum, you can't have a team in two years. It has to be at least three to get all his players in. I would say. He didn't pay attention to offseason moves. He drive. He did a whole draft. He did all his offseason moves. He he got the, he got the quarterback he wants. Yeah, but you can't have a team so, built in in just two off seasons. It's like transfer windows in in soccer. No one, like you, no one's saying to build a full team. I'm saying he's he's moving pieces that he wants. Well, yeah, everything every decision yeah, is, yeah. would be made by him. Ask the question, and then you don't like my answer. My, my answer is, I think you give him this year and see what he does. If he doesn't make improvement, then he's then no, he's not good. I'd say from his first year as the Raiders coach, he didn't do bad. We, like yeah, we won six games. We and, went, yeah, but from and, a playoff team. And how and how many? How many? We won more games the season before. Possession. We won more games. We could have easily gone, freaking had twelve wins easily. Yep. Yep. He's not lying to you. Yeah, but that's that's every so game. There's I, rarely blowouts in the NFL. I mean, no. most teams are. Have, come team on. That freaking had any one possession game. Yeah, it's year. it's unheard of. It's crazy. Yeah, I blame that on coaching. It was literally on. It's a every record game that we watched. Yeah, it was a record. Like, yeah, exactly. it was crazy. Yeah, I I attribute that to coaching. That's Derek Carr's been there nine years, and that's something crazy uh, like that hasn't I, happened. I put that. I put that on. I put that, put that on, on Carr. Derek Carr than the coaching. I put that on Derek Carr. Oh, Derek Carr's been there for nine years, the and that's day, never happened. At the end of the day, Derek Carr gets a play call. Yes, we had we had nine games that we lost last year that were within seven points. Yeah, and nine like games. seven of them we were winning by double digits. Yeah, that's crazy. Exactly, it is. Yeah, crazy. I I attribute and that to coaching. Those, how many of those games did we score? Like there's just three two. Or, three there's just points in the second half. There's just two differing opinions. Like, there's the people that attribute that to just Derek Carr and he's a scapegoat, I mean, and then there's I mean, people that say it's it's the coach. And I'm just I, I think it's the coach. I don't think that doesn't mean I'm not a Raider fan. Okay, so if it if it was vice versa, say we didn't score any in the first half, but we scored a lot in the second half, is that still the coach's fault or is that the quarterback's fault? I don't understand what that matters. Exactly, I can what say matters. that. I can say that with the quarterback too. Like, say it's vice versa. So what, the heck? What, are you, what are you saying? What are you saying? I think it's the coaching. Yes, I think it's the coaching. So it's the coaching no matter what, whether it's the first half we have. Coaching and like, I think coaching in the NFL is, I think coaching in the NFL is the most important in coaching. Like other other sports, coaching really doesn't matter as much as the NFL. Like it's crazy how much one good coach can just change everything. Yes, I think it's the coaching. Oh, that's crazy because when Tom Brady went no to the point. Bucks, when Tom Brady went to the Bucks, he won a Super Bowl and they suck. Yeah, a team that was already a playoff team and they were no, they didn't. They suck. were not a playoff team. They were not a. The playoff Bucks were team. loaded. They were not a playoff the team. The Bucks had like a top five defense, top three Before defense. Tom Brady went there. They were not a playoff team. The Bucks had every everything created for a quarterback to go in and instantly win. If you don't, the, Bucks if you, were, the, Bucks, the Bucks were seven and nine the year before Brady went there. Hey, well, they were almost a playoff team. They had, they had. He went to. He went to. So then we're almost a playoff team because we had six wins last year. So the so the Bucks didn't have a the Bucks didn't have a top five defense that season. I don't know An amazing what they had. defense. I don't know what they had, but they weren't a playoff team. Yeah, they were. They team. Tom Brady picked them. He could he could have went to multiple places. He's obviously going to go to one that was stacked. The were, Bucks were stacked. One that wasn't a playoff, they were a playoff team. team. Why were they seven and nine the year before? The year before that they were five and eleven. The year before that they were five and eleven. The year before that they were nine what, and seven. What is your they point? They were never. A why, are we, why are we talking about the the Tom Brady and the Bucks? Cause you're saying you're saying co I'm, you're saying coaches don't matter. So I'm like okay. So I'm saying coaches do matter. Yeah, you're saying, saying coaches, coaches don't matter. Do you're saying yeah, coaches don't matter. Yeah, yeah, you're saying oh, of course coaches quarterback, do matter. Of course quarterbacks matter. <laughs> Everything matters. You're, you're so then you guys are basically just saying the opposite of what I'm saying. You're saying that coaches don't – Sam's saying coaches don't matter. I'm not no. saying coaches don't matter. I'm saying – what I'm saying is 
uh, Josh McDaniels was not throwing the bar, uh, ball and picking reads for. And him. Josh McDaniels That's has never had a winning season as a head coach either. The last time he coached was freaking 15 seasons ago. He took a Broncos team that was pretty good, and I think he had like one good season with them, and then just. Dude, that was the... like 15 years ago. I remember okay. the Broncos. Damn. <laughs> and then after, know. and then after he and left, you were still peeing your pants when he was. After after, after the Broncos left, after uh, McDaniel's got fired, they went on and won the Super Bowl like shortly after that. So. The Peyton Manning. Talking about yeah, 15 Peyton Manning. seasons ago. I, yeah. Okay, yeah. that's when he had a coaching job. What the hell? How are you going to base his coaching off of 15 years ago? How am I going to base his coaching off his head coaching career? I don't know. That's crazy. Okay. Uh, Yeah, and then he sat under Bill Belichick, the best freaking head coach ever. He came from the freaking Patriots when he first got his first job. He wasn't, you know, he wasn't an offense coordinator. What was he? Yeah, he started out. He started out pretty well. He was well. a QB coach. Yeah, he had like one good season with the Broncos. I think like the first season. He had Jay Cutler. Yeah, he, got, he, he, he was he was a QB. He had Jay. Coach. He had Jay Cutler. Uh, D, uh, uh, I would cons, uh, compare him closely to probably Carr as far as not like they're not the same kind of quarterback, but they're <clears throat> probably similar in as far as tier. Oh. Probably like in the second tier, third tier quarterbacks. Got rid of him because he needed his own quarterback. And then they just sucked. So it's something so similar. So you're saying, so you're saying the Raiders suck because of McDaniel's last year. Last year. Yeah, because um, we already, <clears throat> Carr's already shown that he's can make he can make the playoffs. I think he just McDaniel's a control freak. Um, Carr probably pushed back, or either vice versa, whoever. They just didn't get on. They need they're professionals. They should have just. We didn't have we, that wasn't our issue. We didn't need a new quarterback, but now we got a new quarterback. We should they should have new quarterback. No, we didn't. The issue, the issue was. The issue was there was a lot of money going into the quarterback, and the quarterback wasn't wasn't doing enough for us. That's I don't fun. think the quarterback was the issue. Saying, I think they should have well, just not, worked not, it out, been professionals. I'm saying we were putting a lot of money into a position that it, it didn't matter whether we had a good quarterback there or not because we kept losing. So my thing, my biggest thing is, so all those games where Derek Carr put up zero points in the second half, sometimes three points. There was like three games where we only scored three. So that's all Josh McDaniels' fault. You're saying none, none yeah, goes coaching, to the quarterback. Co- why, why are they they changing the court the the offense in the second half? So, so none of that goes on Derek Carr is what you're saying. So then, no, of course, of course, but okay then. But that's my but point. I'm saying it's more the coach. It's probably like sixty forty the coach. So you're saying okay. so you're so, saying Derek Carr's a Derek Carr only knows how to play football in one half and. The coach is not the problem. The coach makes. What I'm just, saying is, Derek Carr, when defense is making an adjustment, we're just talking. He's not, in, making, he's not audibling into the right play. We're just talking in circles. It's just two opinions. One one thinks Josh. Sorry, one side Derek thinks Carr, Josh McDaniels. Uh, freaking zero points and against the Saints. So. But then I can just say that, like, I'm sorry, Josh McDaniels. Uh, is I mean, only he good. Got for a reason, Josh right? McDaniels is only good in the first half. I'm sorry, he's just a good first half coach, and he just can't make adjustments in the second half. I don't know why he's he can't make adjustments. He just can't. Is it, we're just one just thinks it's the quarterback. One thinks it's the coach. Is, that's but all. It's weird how you that doesn't mean I'm not a. Coach. I'm not. That doesn't it's mean weird. I'm not a, a Raider fan because I think the coach sucks, and you think our quarterback sucks. You co- I can say the same thing. More than, you think way more than just the coach sucks. You said our D line, our linebackers, our corners. Our, our D line does suck. We line. have Crosby's I good. I don't think we have any defensive tackles, and we're banking on a rookie. I hope he's good, but we don't know if he's good. Chandler Jones sucked last year, so we don't. I don't. He's gonna get worse because he got older. He's probably like 33 years old already. Uh, we have no defensive tackles. We have a linebacker that's spent the last two seasons that you keep referring to. That last two seasons he was hurt. Diablo, um, a free agent. A free, Mike's right, free agent. We don't know if Spillane would be good in our scheme. We don't know. We we signed a 30 year old corner to make the start. To start at corner because we don't really have much options at corner, so we don't really have a good secondary. We signed Epps, hopefully he's good, but we like I said we don't know if he's gonna but fit in our scheme. Know. Right. right. No, we no we do know Mike Epps is gonna be Pro Bowler and Spillane's gonna be a Pro Bowler and yeah, our it's team is picking. It's not our team about team having Pro Bowlers. It's about having a, a a team that just knows how to run the scheme. Uh, yeah, we Patriots, don't know if they are. Patriots always have one of the top defenses. They don't have Pro Bowlers. Yeah, they have good coaching. Exactly. It's a scheme. Exactly. Yeah, and our scheme was cheeks last season. That's why we had the worst defense in the league. 
It's like we did every freaking year. Yeah. That defense was given to uh, that defense was given to uh, our coaching staff. He didn't go out there and get those guys. That's what I we think, had. I think Junior's still upset that Derek Carr is gone. I think he's just oh for sure taking his, his anger out on, on the yeah. Line. I am. I uh, I think yeah, that, I is, think man. I think we should have kept he's Carr and fired gone. McDaniel's. It's he's just like gone. I said, it's different. Kept Carr and fired how, McDaniel's. Not, how many coaches did he have? I'm not McDaniels the only Raider fan have. that thinks McDaniel's is cheeks. Like you guys are acting like I'm freaking okay crazy. Let's be honest. You're one of the very few Raider fans who was like keep Carr. Keep no, no I think I think I think honestly it was I think it was like half I think it was like 50 50 the majority of people wanted and it, and, it, and and you were on my side the whole time now it's like he's gone you like switched up because he's a Raider fan yeah because it was it was like 50 50. Yeah, Mike was on my side. He's a Raider fan. That's what no, Raider dude. fans do. The majority of people wanted to get rid of Carr. I mean, you were like the only ones defending Carr. Like, hey, still, no, it wasn't the majority. It was like 50-50. No, it wasn't. I, I'm telling you. It was a, every person that I've seen on Snapchat, every person I've seen on Instagram, on Twitter, on Facebook, get rid of Carr. Car, yeah, because they were the only ones that were commenting. And I and you would click on the comments, and it would be like people talking, talking oh, crap to dude. them. No, it was, it was a lot of so then I could it was Sam and I could have been like oh see he's not a Raider fan he's, he's hating no, on the quarterback. But, but, but what I'm saying, well, I didn't get it. can I finish my thought? Can I finish my thought? What I'm Your saying thought. is we gave him nine years. How many? I mean, how many more years do we need? Are we gonna keep saying get him a new coach? Get him a new coach? Get him a new coach? I'm not saying he sucked, but I'm saying he didn't do enough to win. Has he? He's only had like one or two years where he's been a top quarterback in the NFL. Other than that, he's the we're always like he's top fifteen, top twenty, top fifteen, top. 15. Yeah, but you can win with that. We sit, we spent. Oh, I mean, we we oh, all we all were talking crap about Garoppolo, and now he's on our team. Yeah. Now it's like, oh no, we can win. We can win. We can win. It's consistency. Like we you can't we, win with the you can't win with the top fifteen. Name name a team who won Super Bowl in the last five years that had a top that a top fifteen quarterback who didn't have a good a, an elite quarterback. Like, yeah, we don't have an elite quarterback. That's what I'm saying, though. What I'm, what I'm saying is we need so to then why are you guys saying – why are you guys acting like I'm crazy because I don't think we're going to be good? The, the you just admitted it. was just getting rid of Carr. No, that was just the, the first step. The, we had to do it. So then we're going to suck this year then. We, we, no. should, we should go for a, draft, a high draft pick. No. The first thing that you do when something's not going right is you try something else. You don't just be like, well, let's just hold out and, and keep waiting until we find that elite quarterback in the draft. The draft. No, you try something new. That's what I'm saying. It's okay that we got rid of Carr. He wasn't working out. Yeah, I thought he was good. I thought he, he – Played good, but yeah, I thought he was good the too. Results, the results speak for themselves. Nine years, no playoff win. And you can't that's say not, it's the coach. It's the ten, coach. It's the coach. That's I don't think. We gotta try something new. No, I think we're 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 saying our record is just solely based on Carr. It's just it doesn't matter that he had a bottom thirty defense for like five, ten, like five out of the ten years, and probably top twenty five defense the rest of the years. Like it doesn't matter. That doesn't not. matter. He could have won us. Well, those seven games oh where we where we were just talking about in the second half. Or maybe if the defense made a stop, you know? Maybe the defense makes a fourth quarter stop. Crazy, huh? Maybe we should no, get one of those. Car, maybe if Carr doesn't just put up three points in the second half. Right. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's just, it just not – you can't admit that, that Derek Carr has ever been at fault. You, you just keep trying to protect him. Because I, I, thought was like, I thought he was like, exactly. I thought he was a good quarterback. So he – okay, so – it, you know, I mean, I don't know what to tell you. It's just, it's just true. I mean, there's times where he freaking makes stupid reads, throws stupid balls, throws in double coverage. I mean, yeah, but that's every quarterback. Every quarterback does stupid reads during games. Every quarterback has interceptions. There's no quarterback that doesn't have interceptions. Um, there's no quarterback like all the look. You watch Mahomes play; he does like some crazy things. They're like, what the heck? And they just drop know. off. Please don't even put Derek Carr in the yeah, same that's, sentence. That's, that's no, I'm not, but to 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 act like quarterbacks don't make mistakes during game is crazy that's not what i'm saying I, obviously every I'm quarterback saying, makes mistakes i'm i'm saying the amount of mistakes in comparison to the rest of his play was wasn't adding up you're talking about mahomes mahomes threw two less interceptions than Derek carr last year two less and had and had, and had 17 more touchdowns yeah, so, so i mean you can't be like oh look at mahomes does stupid stuff See, yeah but the rest of the time he's playing good Derek carr hasn't had a, like an elite season since since we freaking we're in the playoffs too. Was that 2000? I don't even remember what year. It's just was. different comparing stuff like that because you, the Chiefs are like souped Mahomes? up. Like you put the car on the Chiefs, his stats go up. You put Mahomes okay. on the Raiders, his stats go down. Okay, like, that's weird because when uh, they got Tyreek no. Hill, 
everyone was like, the Chiefs have no firepower anymore. The Chiefs, Chiefs still have a lot of firepower. I can't even, yeah, I can't even they name they one have, Chiefs they receiver. They have, Kill. They, have Kill. <laughs> they have like, they have like four or five decent receivers, and they just have, okay. and they have an, <laughs> they have a, they have an excellent, excellent <laughs> offensive. Name, name off one of the receivers. Okay. Kadarius Tony, McCole Hardman, Juju. They got Juju. They got. Travis Kelsey, they got a good running game. Like oh, dude, Juju, dude, who dude. scored one touchdown and it was a play, uh, his first touchdown and it was in the playoffs. Yeah, you're all over the place, dude. We were just talking about Robbie Anderson and how he had a thousand yards. He's like, he's a good number two. But now yeah, Robbie like, Anderson oh, yeah, is a good number two. Had a bunch of good receivers. <laughs> you can't, you're not making sense. Right. <laughs> I'm just saying. It, <clears throat> I'm not saying Garoppolo is better, but what I am saying is I'm okay with trying something else because what we've been doing hasn't been working. And if they want to start at the quarterback position, be my guest. And if it's still a okay, defense, they can start at the quarterback position. That's fine. Derek Carr is not. I'm not making the argument that he's a top five quarterback. He's not. So why do you want it? Why? That's not you? the. That's not the problem on the team though. We still have a, a. That's the reason why you're so frustrated with the Raiders because. Oh, we I'm go not. Derek Carr. No, this even if we is, even if we kept their reason. even if we kept their car, I still don't think we would have a good season. We don't have a defense. That we didn't address that. We I really didn't. didn't. How did we not address it? Because we, we signed free agents from. Um, what do you want us to get? Freaking every uh, Jalen Ramsey and all these freaking yeah, stars. Dude, but I'm saying, yeah, I'm saying, did our defense started. improve? I'm saying, did our defense improve? And you're you're pointing to guys yes. like Spillane yes. and. In a rookie, like, we, did like, only, we have only been focusing on defense in all, the whole offseason and basically the whole damn draft. But you're like, these guys aren't good yet. They haven't proven. <laughs> they, how? What do you want them to do? You want them to sign Aaron Donald, Jalen Ramsey, CJ? Like, who, who do you want? The freaking the best. We didn't the sign. We didn't sign any really good defensive players. What do you yes, mean? We, did. we signed they, they a lot signed, of players. They signed players who were going to start. We also players. signed they defensive start. players to start last year, and they still suck. Uh, you, you were saying to sign the same caliber of players. Last year. You, okay, okay. Did we not? No, we did not. We didn't sign defensive players in the free agency last year. Who did we sign? Besides I don't know. Arizona. And we're going to say the same. Know? Exactly. And we're going to say the same thing this year, next year, when we talk about no, this offseason. Who the heck did we sign? Okay, so then last year, <laughs> were, were you saying the same thing? Like, oh, we just signed Kevin Jones. He sucks. Right. He's not. We're not going to do anything. We're like, we're going to suck. No, these are new players. They're trying. They're getting positions that are going to start. You can't say that we See, you're you're talking you guys you're talking out of a uh, position of optimism, which which you no. should have as a fan. I, I am but talking, I am okay. So why don't you have it then? Because I don't like the coach. <laughs> if I like the coach, I'd be like, yeah, we, we signed these players. I I think he can coach them up, and we we'll be decent this year. I don't think the co I think coach plays a huge part in the in football. Yeah, that's like why, the, like that's like USC why, like USC. That's we why Josh McDaniels he was hoping these players would pan out for him. Uh, Abram, Cleveland Farrell, and all these other guys that he ended up letting go this year because those weren't his guys, but he was hoping it panned out. Right. Darren Abrams, Waller. Yeah. Darren I just Waller, don't think he's good. I don't, I don't care if he gets his, his guys. I don't think he's good. I think he's a trash yeah, that's coach. Your that's your opinion. You're, you're, you're okay with that. But I mean, as a Raider fan, like, it's kind of weird that you, it's not that you weird. argue with us about this. Not weird. You didn't like John Gruden the whole time? I, I like John Gruden. Gruden. I thought John Gruden was building uh, Dude, the I same. Never, I you never hated John Gruden. I, no, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, I did. Definitely did not. You still think John Gruden sucks a, as the head coach? No, I think he was I building, and he would have took us to the playoffs like, the no, year that we made guys, the playoffs. No, you guys hated John Gruden. And <laughs> oh, guys, I love John Gruden every single you, year, no, even when we suck. Oh, oh, we only suck because of John Gruden's play calls. He sucks at calling plays. Who said you that? You used to say that. Who? Me and Mike, because I don't know who you're talking to now. Both of you guys said that. Even I Mike, remember. Man, even Mike I knows that's not true because I love John Gruden. The you whole guys are like, oh, oh, we suck because John Gruden is John Gruden's play calls, this and that. Oh. Yeah. You, you live in an alternate, that, alternate reality. I, Sam I hated did. John Gruden. I did not I hate, John Gruden. hate John Gruden. Yeah, exactly. I, he lives in an alternate reality. Oh, yeah, you hated John Gruden. We, I like John Gruden. I have always I loved John Gruden. I hated Derek Carr. I know I liked John Gruden because I, 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 I was upset when he got when he freaking was fired. That's how I know I like John Gruden. I was upset when he got fired. No, I, no, I'm not saying you guys didn't like him. I'm saying you guys used to say that Derek Carr sucks because of John Gruden's play calls. No. That's a possibility. That no, you guys did used to say that. Because you guys are always defending Derek. You want to? And I have always said Derek Carr. He's right. No, he's right. We did say that. I remember we said that because we were like, when Mike, when we had Mike Musgrave, he was good. What's the problem now? We were saying that. Yeah. So, so yeah. we were. We were saying that. 
Yeah, both of you guys were. And then I was blaming it on and I was blaming on Derek Carr, just like I am with McDaniels. I'm blaming on Derek Carr. <clears throat> I'm saying I'm saying I, I, I was I think Derek Carr was good, but I don't think he was doing doing enough. I think and no, this is what we're saying, gonna do. This is what we're gonna do. Top- we tank this season, right guys? We tank this season, fire the head coach, sign nope. Caleb draft Caleb Williams first overall. And that just okay. changes our – yes. We, what do you mean, though? That? You talking about quarter, we want a top five quarterback who – you're not going to – you can't You can't sign – you can't – That that's the only That's the only way you can get one. You cannot – draft. you can't sign one in free agency. They don't let players like that go. They don't let yeah, – Burrow, Burrow, Herbert's not going to go anywhere. Mahomes ain't going anywhere. Player – Josh Allen's not going anywhere. So those kind of caliber quarterbacks aren't going anywhere. We have to draft one. So we're going to have to tank. Get rid of this coach. Use him as a scapegoat. Just say he sucks, and then That's we're going to – That's not true. Tom yes, Brady you... went to the Buccaneers and won Super Bowl's little goof. How about that? What about Peyton Manning? Peyton Manning went to the Super Bowl. Yeah, Manning but that's only a stopgap. You can only do super old quarterbacks. Oh, we want we oh, want one that's going to be there for 10-plus years. 10-plus years. No, you want a quarterback that's going to be there for 10-plus years, like all these solid young quarterbacks. We just got to tank this season, get the first overall pick. That's probably why they're predicting us to get three wins. They know we're trying to tank. Get three wins, draft Caleb Williams, back-to-back Heisman winner, and then we're set. We're set for life for at least the next 10, 15 years. What do you guys think about that plan? What? What do you mean, no? I'm not going to sit here and be goofy. What do you mean, no? You don't think, Sam, you don't think Caleb Williams could be a top five quarterback in this league? No, Caleb Williams is definitely going to be. Exactly, so we we should tank. Because he's no, better than Garoppolo, Williams. right? He has Caleb everything. Caleb Williams is just a rookie, dude. He's probably going to suck in there. So. Yeah, but Caleb, you don't know Caleb until you Williams see. Caleb Williams has literally every. Yeah, he's like a Mahomes. He he's is, really good under pressure. He's, he's accurate. Be one of the, he's definitely going to be in the mix with Mahomes, Burrow, and Herbert. Exactly. But and, we're not going to tank. And Garoppolo's cheeks. We should just tank. Get a real quarterback. I'm gonna say Garoppolo's cheeks, but not say Derek Carr's cheeks. Because I think Garoppolo's, I think uh, Carr's better than Garoppolo. At what? Yeah, what is he better Garoppolo than? I'll give you the at, ball. At, pass, at passing the ball. I would give you that. But, I'll give you that. Picks? I'll give you that. Garoppolo's better at handing the ball off. That's about all. Exactly. Well, Garoppolo's Take a better. Care of the can, you, can you say Garoppolo's a better, a better uh, manager on the ball of the ball? No, 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 no. When, when you have a team that throws Derek the ball, Carter. when you have a team no. that throws the ball a lot, and it, compared to a team, a quarterback that doesn't throw the ball past ten yards, no, it's going to be hard to have, throw picks, right? We just had the number one rusher. Yeah, we also had a, a top ten passer too, so that that wasn't the problem. Um, Look, like statistically is, speaking, so, he was a top ten passer. I think. I think so, the only I mean, thing that Carr was Garoppolo was better, a top ten passer? No, he was not. I think the only thing that Carr is better at than Garoppolo is is just throwing a deep ball. But yes, because he can't throw the ball past ten yards. We made fun of Jesse you forever. Can, you, you it's not going to change. Okay, but that's their offense. Exactly. So yeah. they don't compare. They don't. Uh, they don't have a deep ball threat. They have exactly that would explain why Carr had better slides, passing stats. And they have a tight end. Okay. Hey, so then, so then that so would then explain why Carr had. So the Garoppolo is better at not throwing interceptions than Derek Carr. Then I mean, yeah, he's, he's way better. And, and I would say he's better and, in the red zone. Yeah, because he doesn't throw yeah. the ball that much. He's better in the red zone. Yeah, because they 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 hand the ball off in the red zone. No, we don't. It's touchdown. weird. We don't we don't we don't run the ball in the red zone. It's weird. That doesn't make sense. So we only pass the ball in the red zone. Well, the last two years, no, we Garoppolo don't run the ball. Garoppolo has been better. So we ball. only pass it in the red zone. Is what you're saying? We don't have good red zone offense. Good, co- yeah, good play cause, calls. Because of Derek Carr. Well, one yeah, thing's just because of Derek Carr. One thing's just the coaching. I don't. That's all. That's the. That's the difference. Can't change your mind. You just never like Derek Carr. Just like sorry, I don't but, like. I think. Sorry, but think, an 86 passing rating is just horrible. That's probably like one of the worst in the NFL. Yeah. Is it 86? Yeah, What's yeah. Derek Carr's passer? What's a uh, Garoppolo's passer rating? I think it was 100. like 103. <laughs> what's what's uh, Garoppolo's uh, passing yards and touchdowns compared to Derek Carr? Uh, Derek Carr Garoppolo, had 24. Yeah, Garoppolo 24 had 16 10. touchdowns and Derek Carr had 24. But Damn, Garoppolo six. Had I'm telling you this right now. Garoppolo gets 16 passing touchdowns. A lot of going to be a lot of upset Raider fans about how he doesn't throw the ball, how he just checks the ball down, how he has no touchdowns. Oh yeah, he has no interceptions, but he doesn't throw the ball anywhere. It's gonna. It's, you're gonna be That's the one saying talking. that. 
Are you're going to be the one saying that. And then... All right. I mean, it, it. I'll say this. If Garoppolo plays the exact same way he's been playing the last three years and the team goes to the playoffs like the Niners have been going to the playoffs the last three years, I'm okay with that. No, that's different. We don't have a Niners defense. We don't have pro bowlers in every level of the defense. We don't have that. We don't have an O-line that can move people at will. Uh, we don't have a Debo Samuel. We don't have a Christian McCaffrey. We don't have a Kittle. Like, we don't oh, have – we, we, we have a Devontae Adams. And we yeah, also have a yeah. Jacobs. What, what, bet, what fits better in a Garoppolo offense, a Debo Samuel or a Devontae Adams? We – we don't know. Devontae you Adams. can't say you can't say Garoppolo offense. That's the Niners offense. Yeah, the Niners have been doing. Yeah, that. but they yeah, they they, they I think they adjust would, their their offense. The same thing with no, 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 no. You're telling me no. that. So you're telling me no. that, that coach Kyle Shanahan. Kyle Shanahan is a really smart offensive player, uh, offensive coach. Who? Weird, what did dude. he do when he um had a good quarterback? A quarterback can throw the ball. Weird, he uh had the MVP of the league. That's what he did. So to stay here and say. Yes, Ooh. where did where did Ke- uh, Shanahan come from? Before he was uh, the head coach, he was the offensive coordinator. What team? Commander. No, he took he took the Matt Ryan. I think he won MVP with them. They made the Super Bowl, and he was That's freaking amazing. Hell? Oh, so now okay, so now you're talking about the offensive coordinator. We're not talking about head coaches anymore. We're no, I'm talking, talking about, about Kyle Shanahan. Kyle Shanahan's re- offense that he ran. To sit here and try to like. Disrespect so Kyle. Well, let's, talk, let's not talk about McDaniels. Because he's cheeks. Let's talk about our offensive coordinator. I think Josh McDaniels. No, there's offensive minded head coaches and there's defensive minded head coaches, right? When you have an offensive minded head coach, they, they call the plays. They're the offensive so coordinator the also. Who was, who was Shanahan's head coach then? Kyle Shanahan is the head coach. Who was his head coach when he, he was the offensive? He was the one. Not every head coach calls the plays. Uh, Kyle Shanahan called the plays on the on the Falcons. That's why they make fun of him all the time. Like, oh, Kyle Shanahan, he can't hold leads with the Falcons. He couldn't hold leads with the with, he, when they went twenty eight three and lost to the Patriots. He was the offensive coordinator. They make fun of him. He called the plays. Not every offensive coordinator head coach calls plays. Yeah, I don't Josh care McDaniels Kyle called. Shanahan. Kyle Shanahan is also yeah, but it, in the Super Bowl. So yeah, what I know. About? What's to say and like act like he doesn't have he is not good offensively and his his offense is no limited. No one said he's not good offensively. You're you're saying like Garoppolo can't throw the ball because he didn't do it in San Francisco. Kyle, Kyle Shanahan got him. rid of Garoppolo because oh, he was winning. Oh, you're in, talking about Kyle Shanahan, the one that gave up a, a 28 to three lead in the Super Bowl. There yeah, that one. <laughs> and, and and exactly. And who do you put when they gave up that 28 three lead? Who do you who do you people blame it on? They don't, they're not saying Matt Ryan just all of a sudden sucked and didn't know how to play quarterback. That's Bro, coaching. Actually, That's actually, coaching. Exactly. Actually, I'm done. In that sec- actually, in that second half, Matt Ryan. They didn't. They didn't. They didn't. Pick. Yeah, because they're dropping back and passing the ball on third down when, in field goal range when they're freaking up by one possession already. Coaching. Exactly. Okay. I'm done. What, what I'm done. is that? Okay. That's, coaching. that's that. That's that uh, s- certain situation right there. Yeah. Pass, uh, when, they're, when they're in field goal range already. And they just need to get a field goal. They're running. They're passing the ball, and he got strip sack on the drop back. I remember that. Yeah, that's that's their problem. Exactly. That's coaching. Yeah, what is giving up? Far, give, giving up a, a twenty-eight three yeah. lead is uh, giving up uh, uh, multiple possession leads in the second half. Always comes down to coaching. You you can't. You're not gonna blame the players on that. It's, it's, Sorry, it comes down to coaching. Up, when you're putting up three to zero points. In the yeah. Second half, coaching. I coaching. No. Coaching. Exactly. Oh, I would put that. Yeah. Like I said. Like I said, he's not uh, throwing the football for Derek Carr. Yeah, Derek Carr is also not calling the plays. He's, he's, yes, he is. He checks right. out of every play. Does he not? Josh McDaniel seems like a, a control freak. Do you think he's going to let Derek Carr call out of all these you, plays that you saying he you, is? How do you get that, though? He seems like it. That's just that. what it seems like. No, but how are you getting that? Like, what makes you think that he is? Just, I don't, I don't know. understand. Is that because what Derek Carr said? Yeah. Because Derek Carr said that? Well, Derek Carr also doesn't, and also said he was done with. Why does he need to lie? Wife cry, so, I mean, Why does he need to lie for? Derek Carr also said that he was going to retire if the, if the Raiders uh, cut. Yeah. Him. Why does so. he need to lie about that? I don't know. I feel like he he still had he still he he probably thinks the same as me. Obviously, I'm saying, it's I mean, not I'm his saying, fault that they sucked. Oh, well, of course he Derek Carr is just like his brother. I don't even Damn. know what that means. Just it loves sucks. to get yeah. sacked and scared. His brother got drafted to. He was the very first draft pick of an expansion team. And, they literally had no NFL and, players. It was all just free agents, free agents and draft. And oh, so he just didn't have one of the best receivers in on his uh, football team, Hall of Famer. It was, yeah, he was a rookie. Draft. They both, yeah. 
So he didn't have the the best receiver in the NFL at the time. They, the Houston Texans had to build off the draft because they were an expansion team. They were built off a free agency draft. It doesn't matter. He still had the best receiver in football. Right. Was he not? That's why he was sacked so much because he had the best receiver. No, that's not what I'm saying. You know, you're never, you're never gonna know. But to, to to sit here and to say that the Raiders are just gonna suck, and, and I think they're gonna suck. Me, it's weird because I'm usually the one that is the one saying that I think we're. Oh yeah, I think the Raiders yeah, gonna make the playoffs. I think it's like usually it's the like heck. It's games. weird. It's like it's usually like one or two things. Like oh, I don't like they did this. I don't like this. This, but like you're like damn, I hate everything they did. Didn't Sam recently say like a couple years? I think the year we made the playoffs. Then wasn't he the one saying like oh, I think the Raiders are gonna win like three five games this season. Is it? Or am I crazy? No idea. Oh. But I never. But I never. What the hell? Now I'm the fake Raider like fan. I said, like I said, wins or losses the does hell? not determine whether you're a fan or not. But when you sit there and only making moves it, that you approve of means you're a fan. No, no. If you criticize. You, there, you criticize you anything there, they do. No, you're not a real fan. There, yeah. The you, hell? You literally makes sense. You literally sound like a Niner fan, just like hating on every single move that the Raiders. Which make. move am I hating on? You say that, but you can't name. Everything. You can only name one. You can't name one move, actually. What do you mean? You just literally said our whole team sucks from our offensive line, defensive <laughs> line. We do have a lot of holes. Corners, like you're saying, everything we, sucks about the Raiders, which is weird. Yes, we do have a lot of holes. Well, yes, we do. The weird thing, the weird thing is, you're like, oh, this is the first year I ever said this, but the Raiders team this year is better than they were last year. Yeah, we have the same exact team. Like, there's only one way. There's only one way to see to see yeah, if. But, if... We, but no, no, we we have the same exact team minus Derek Carr. No, we exactly. don't. So so how do? Really? So how are you not saying well, the Raiders are going to be good this year? Our running back. He's not even gone yet. Dude, if you if you don't think, first of all, Josh Jacobs is going to play. It just wouldn't make sense for him not to sign ten million dollars. What is he going to do? get fined and lose whatever he's money he's made in the NFL. No, he's not going to do that. He's just holding out until it's time to play. That's just yeah, what he's going to do. And we downgraded considerably at quarterback. That, no. That's what I said. That's what I said. I said, that's the only thing that we have different. That's huge. But Quarterback's right. the most important position on the team. Yeah. That's why we got rid of him. Cause he wasn't doing enough for us. <laughs> oh, exactly. <laughs> we had to make a change. So we downgraded. So he, we weren't, <laughs> we, we sucked. So we, our, our thought process. Well, let's let's just get Jimmy Garoppolo. No, te- technically, no, we didn't downgrade. If we're going based off last year, last year Jimmy downgrade. Garoppolo had be- last year Jimmy Garoppolo had a better passer rating. Oh, he had like eight less touchdowns and how much less passing yards? Look at the QB. He had a hundred and three passing yards with only four interceptions. That's what I'm saying. Yep. That, that's what I'm saying. And that and speaks that, that speaks volumes to a team that has a sorry defense because Derek Carr loves to get the ball back to the other team. Defense doesn't suck. Our defense is stacked. What are you talking about? Well, not according to you. That's what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. And did he even our de- all- Honestly, our defense is still going to be bottom five. Imagine he having played, a bad he defense. He only played and- 11 games last year, too. So, I don't... No, like, it isn't. Three, like, four, I, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He only played 11 games last year. Damn. Damn. And he, and he had 16 touchdowns. So he missed what, how many games is that? Six games. Yep. He missed six games, and he he almost had as much touchdowns as Derek Carr with four with 10 less interceptions. Garoppolo was in a real quarterback friendly uh, offense, in which they didn't really ask him to do much, just hand the ball. We know I'm, that. I'm Let's not, t- to pretend like. T- so, so now you're just you're just discrediting him because you're like it wasn't him that was was the reason that. I'm they sorry, did but 11 games with 16 touchdowns, that's pretty good. Right. That's that's. That's really good. Yeah. Oh, you can't Garoppolo say, sucks. You can't here and be like, oh, Garoppolo oh, sucks. Good. Garoppolo sucks. We we said this for forever, and now now he's on our team. Now he's, he's no, he's actually good. Uh, no, he you sucks. Know why we said that? Well, no, we said because we don't like the Niners and we hate the Niners. Exactly. You know what? Yeah. You know what no, I I was saying that because no, I was saying that because I think he actually sucks. I would say everyone sucks. That exactly. Oh, Bosa's everybody. good. Bosa's good. Uh, Wagner's good. They have a lot of good players. Their O line's oh, good. Bosa, the one that's holding out. Yeah, him. He's good. Him? He's real good. Yeah, yeah he's real good. He's not Crosby. Exactly. No, I would take I would take Crosby just because Cros. I think Cros. Yeah, Cros- I would always take Crosby, but that's he's definitely top three. I'm saying 25, 2,500 yards, sixteen touchdowns, four interceptions on eleven games is is pretty good to me. 
He also plays on one of the one of the easiest one of the easiest offenses to play on play quarterback at. No pressure, and you've seen what you've seen when we watch him play, and he has to pass the ball. It's it's funny. We say like, look, he has to pass the ball now. They're behind. Well, yeah, They're never. They, they don't play from they, behind. They don't have the person. It's hilarious. To throw the ball downfield. They don't. They, exactly. Uh, aren't no, he's just in, he's just inaccurate. Uh, like, good defensive that, team. All you got 